Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what is going on beautiful people welcome back it's your boy blue and uh today's a very special day as you can hopefully tell by the uh very interesting theme music it's your boy blue son and we're out here in japan nagasaki japan very relaxing yes sir today's a spa day flying from nagasaki japan to tokyo japan for the uh the new update just came out today, just about a couple hours ago, actually, it just came out. The uh, Japan update, Japan World update, 1.9 point something. So welcome to the stream, guys. Hopefully you guys are having a great week so far. Pretty excited to start exploring Japan. I think this is a pretty darn cool airport right here in Nagasaki. Uh, it's handcrafted. Matter of fact, I want to go ahead and point out the fact that this whole update is free for everyone. Doesn't matter what premium deluxe edition you got. It's free for everybody, so once you update your sim, go ahead and download the free Japan World Update. Covers the entire island of Japan and all the islands that are added onto it. So, uh, yeah, man, it's gonna be fun flying Dutch. Welcome to the stream, man. Good to see you, Juno. Good to see you, Chris Curry. Welcome to the stream. Uh, I'm kind of messing around with this Japan playlist. Like, the playlist is literally called Japan. So, uh, I'm gonna kind of rock with it. We'll see what happens. I've actually never listened to it. So, uh, Without further ado, today we're flying the ANA 787 out upon Airlines 787. Juno, what up, man? Good to see you. Ty, welcome to the stream, my friend. Eight gigabytes, yes. The download is only eight gigabytes. It took me two hours to download that. I, I didn't think it took that long. Was it two hours or was it one hour? I think it was an hour and a half. I, I, I timed it. It's like an hour and a half to two hours for me to download eight gigabytes. If you have like the, uh, I think if you have the standard edition, it'll only be a seven gigabyte download. And then Japan itself is a 1.5 gigabyte download. So it's honestly not that big. Hopefully you guys don't have too many issues with downloading it this time. Hopefully they, they iron that out and fix that up. Uh, I know that people have been having issues downloading since the very first release of the game, so hopefully we won't have too big of a problem. So, but we're here, guys. Latte Master, welcome to the stream, man. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be really fun. If you guys would like to join us, we are on the All Players server. If you want to join us and you already got everything updated, we're on the All Players server. Um, I would do live, uh, live, but it's it's middle of the night right now in japan i didn't want to start in the middle of the night so we're gonna do live uh weather but not live time so make sure you're on all players preset and then i have my ai and my live traffic turned off completely so all i see is real people all right cool so anyways let's go ahead and i'm gonna hit that button i think that's the button is that the button that is the button there it is all right we're back here in nagasaki in our beautiful 787 hopefully i don't have any problems i just want to point that out i've personally since uh, let me think, since the last update before this, I've had a lot of issues with landing the 787. Flying it, not so much. Landing, I've had a lot of, pro a lot of problems. So we're going to hopefully be able to land this baby softly down in Tokyo. So the plan is today, flying from Nagasaki, RJ... Uh, what was it again? RJ... Shoot. It's RJFU. Yes, FU. RJFU to RJTT, Romeo Juliet Foxtrot Uniform to Romeo Juliet Tango Tango. That is today's flight plan. Uh, if you actually want to get my sim brief file to put into your Microsoft Flight Simulator, you can type in exclamation mark flight plan. Matter of fact, I will do that right now for you guys and you'll get that for uh, YouTube and Twitch. So that way you can download that, put that right into your sim and you'll have the exact same flight plan as me. We'll be cruising at 41,000 feet today and it'll be an hour long flight. Once we get to Tokyo, that's when the fun starts. When we get to, get to Tokyo, we'll do some VFR flying around the city of Tokyo. There's a lot of really good new POIs, points of interest, and, and 3D modeling, and it's just the city just looks amazing out there. So I'm excited to go out there and, and really explore Japan today. Um, man, it's gonna be super freaking dope, man. Uh, Tino Star, can you manually check for updates? Uh, not sure. I would go to um, go to your Microsoft store first and update it there, and then you have to go in and actually launch the game and update it there, but usually it'll make you do that. I don't think it'll even allow you to stay on the older version once it's been, you know, sent. So, uh, yeah, that's how it is. Anyways, guys, let's get the 787 started. Um, you guys have a little bit of time to catch up as I get this thing started. We are not cold and dark. I got the battery power on and the, and the, and the uh, GPUs turned on, but that's about it. Uh, and you got, as you guys know, the 787 is super easy to start. It's like everything is pretty much already on, just like the 74. One thing I would like to say that I noticed 
is that I feel like the pilot views have been raised, like they're higher than I remember. I don't know, I just feel like, it's, it's, I don't know, maybe it's just me, but I feel like it's a little bit higher. That may not have changed at all. Uh, I'm not gonna go through the entire change log today, guys, because it's a pretty long list. They made changes to all the avionics for GA and for airliners. They tr attempted to fix a lot of things again. Hopefully those things are fixed again. We will see today. This is kind of like my, my first flight, really giving it a, a full try. So we'll have to see if it works i am on max settings today so we'll see how my how my um performance goes as well after the last update the 1.8 update it gave me a huge performance boost and i was extremely happy and excited and i was very pleased with how much more performance i was getting than in the past um before when that, we got the first release for microsoft flight simulator i was getting horrible frames. i was getting like 15 frames in my airliners like it didn't matter if i was in the middle of nowhere or in new york city i was getting horrible frames for my airliners and i was getting okay frames for GA planes uh, but since then I've gotten a lot better yes we're on the East USA server Keith um, but since then um, it's been better so hopefully that stays better especially in Japan when I've added so much more detail here so anyways you guys ready to go Adrian Guzman what's up man we to the stream man we didn't do shoutouts did we plaz welcome to the stream Tino good to see you uh, Kaba, Kabaya Osan welcome to the stream um, is everything visual on max settings I'm not really sure what you mean by that but yes I want to say yes. Um, is Nightbot not working yet? Yeah, Nightbot, he posted it on YouTube, but he did not post it on Twitch. Weird. I do apologize. I'll post it myself. Here's the link, guys, for the uh, Google Drive. I have my flight plan. I'll have it there for now on uh, for future flights. So I went ahead and posted it for you guys to have it. Ado Adoof, good to see you, man. Welcome to the stream. I probably said your name completely wrong. I'm popped. I'm sorry. I do apologize. Mr. Music for All, welcome to the stream, man. I'm surprised you're still awake, man. Flying Dutchman, welcome back. Toast, welcome back, man. Good to see you. Stainless, welcome to the stream. Peter Plains, hello. Good to see you, man. Alan Farms, welcome back. Good to see you. Grimlock, welcome to the stream. Good to see you, man. Captain No Gear, welcome back, man. Awesome choice in music. Hopefully, it doesn't get too annoying. We'll see. Uh, Osaka Kansai needs this level of detail. I agree, man. We were actually originally planning to fly. Look at this plane. It's beautiful. We were originally planning to fly from Kansai because that's a really cool airport out here in Japan. It's only like 130 miles away from uh, Tokyo, but we're going to try it. But that's not included in the handcrafted airport. So I won't be surprised if we see uh, some third party developer come along and release that like really soon. I won't be surprised about that at all. Not one bit. Uh, you notice that the jetway actually goes to the door now. In the last update, it seemed like it, it kind of struggled getting to the door uh, very often. So we'll have to see, man. Raven, what's up? Welcome back, man. DJ Malfufi, welcome to the stream, man. Squid Biz, what's up, man? Good to see you. Harry, good to see you, bro. Welcome to the stream. Uh, who else did I miss? Giorgio, welcome to the stream. Connor L, good to see you. Welcome, everybody. Hopefully, you guys are having a great day. Mark Tickle HD, what's up, man? Just finished the update. Well, the VFR after your stream. Yeah, man, uh, after this first IFR flight into Tokyo, we're going to be doing a VFR flight around Tokyo to really check it out and see what's happening out there. But yeah, man, it's going to be cool. It's going to be really cool. All right, well, let's get started because we got lots to explore today. Lots and lots to explore. Uh, let me see what this is because that was so it was very chill. Very chill. <laughs> like, we're about to fall asleep up in here. Like, I need some needles in my back. This thing is so chill. All right, so uh, I think we're honestly, like, ready. I think that's it. Um, we were basically ready to push back. We already got our flight plan put in from the world map. I've already done that there. And that looks to be okay. And yeah, we're pretty much just ready to, to push back. Yeah, that's really it. That is it. Like, I, mean, I don't know. I feel weird. I feel really weird when I don't have to do anything when I get in here. It just feels super weird. I'm just, I'm like, ah, I want to push buttons. Buttons, buttons, buttons. I mean, my chart's ready. I'll do that for at least. I will not be on VATSIM today. Uh, there's no ATC out here anyway, so it doesn't even matter. Um, it's going to be pretty chaotic, to be honest with you guys. So just kind of ignore all the other traffic you see because the update just came out today. So everybody's spawning into all of the handcrafted airports. We'll be taking off runway 32, landing on runway 35. And the elevation out here is 14 feet. And uh, the length of the runway is 9,843. I'm going to give my SID. What is my SID today? Today's SID is the Chiku 3 departure. Uh, Oscar Oscar India Tango Alpha transition. So I'm just pulling those up here on my laptop. And then I'll be ready to push back. 
Yep, Japanese chill hip hop. What I did is I used Epidemic Sound for my music, and they have like playlists for like everything. So like, you know what? Let me see if they have like a, a Asian or a Japanese or some type of <laughs> playlist. And they had this playlist is literally called Japan. So I was like, yeah, hey, let's see what it sounds like. Let's see, let's see what it sounds like. It's like chill on 1000. All right, I got my departure. I'm ready to push, guys. Would you appreciate it if you made a beast, a best of blue games video? Yeah, man, do it. I wanna see that. I think that'd be fun. I would enjoy watching that. All right, let's do it. Okay, so beacon lights, turn on on. We are ready to push. Let's go ahead and uh, tell the jetway they can get the heck out of here. It's like the baggage is done. We got a lot of King Airs leaving. I assume somebody else must be streaming or some kind of group is out here. I've seen like 20 King Airs fly out of this airport today. So I don't know who's, uh, whose group is flying right now. But it's, uh, I know that there's a, um, there's a tour. There's a new like to, uh, tour of Japan thing going on on the homepage. You can actually do a whole tour, like a two and a half hour tour of Japan in a King Air. And I was like, oh boy. It's a bit too long for my stream taste. I right, request Jetway Disconnection. Thank you very much. Jaden Sausage, welcome back, man. Good to see you. Sounds good, rotate. That sounds amazing. OJ, what up, man? What's the flight plan? Flight plan is right here. There's a Google Drive link to my flight plan. You can put that right into your file systems in Microsoft Flight Simulator. Uh, but today's flight is from Nagasaki, you see here, to Tokyo, Japan. Super hype about it flying from the south of japan there's a japan airlines a320 i haven't tried the a320 yet i will say though the a320 nx does not work yet um in this update so if you're looking to fly that uh, you might want to test it before you go out there trying to stream it because uh from what i last heard from a friend of mine is that it is not, it's not working right now so we're in a seven eight all right cool let's go ahead and push I'm gonna go down. I might have to ask for clearance. Oh, yeah, let's go IFR clearance. Acknowledge. Ground services. And request pushback. We push back nose to the right, guys. Is he starting? No, no, no. There he is. Alright, I'm gonna keep the screen up. I would love to get rid of it. I don't really want to keep it up, but, but just, just minimize it. Can I, min I can't minimize you? Okay, there we go. You know you've reloaded in twice and no luck. Weird. Yeah, I'm I'm looking forward to trying out some of these uh some of the planes again after the update. Again, it's a long list. Matter of fact, let me go through the through the list right now. Some of it anyways, not all of it. I'm gonna go through some of the list now and see what updated today. And I need to release the park and break. Alright, park and break is released. This is your boarding music, by the way, guys. <laughs> they also did change the wing flex. Look at how much more wing flex we're getting now. Uh, that was in the release notes so that they changed the wing flex. I'm not sure if they did it too much or not, but they did change it. Uh, where's my view at? There we go. Uh, turn right. Nope, nope, left, left. <laughs> Thank you, Captain Reynolds. Congrats on 4K. Thank you very much, man. That's all thanks to you guys. That's all thanks to you guys. I ain't had nothing to do with that. Thank you so much for that. 14K, yes. Thank you very much, guys. Justin, you're in the A320? Sounds good, man. Yeah, the, you said uh, confirming the mod is not working. It'll, I'm sure it'll be up within the week. I mean, the update came out hours ago. Give the developers time to kind of update it. One thing I noticed is that this is actually the non-movement line right here. Uh, so we actually pushed it a bit too early. Uh, what, I, what I noticed about the NX, sorry, about the update, some of the things that are applied to the A320 are some of the same things that the NX project actually adjusted as well. So it makes sense that it would break because they're kind of fixing some things that NX was trying to fix too. Um, but you know, whenever NX comes back, they'll, they'll make it even better for sure. 
Take me inside. There we go. They also changed the uh, color of the HUD here. Now it's green, like it's supposed to be. All right, let's go ahead and shut the music off. We'll turn it back on while we uh, depart. We'll come back to these uh, these uh, Japanese jams. This is so freaking chill. Like I feel like I need to be in a freaking uh, I don't know massage parlor or something like that, man. All right. Yeah, you see how high I'm sitting? You see how low? Like I feel like I should be down here somewhere. So I don't know. I don't know what's up with that. Oh well. All right, we haven't started the engines yet. So let's do that. Go pumps. Left, right, right, left, center. And the beacon light is already on. Uh, window heat is on. Hydraulics are on. Uh, all those things are on. APU is running. We don't need to turn the packs off, I don't believe. And then we'll go down here and then switch on the right and the left. We'll do them at the same time. And we should now start to see some things happening here. Unless I forgot something. And I have not done this yet. I is getting quiet. Getting very quiet. What up, Matthew? Good to see you, man. Welcome to the stream, bro. Do I need to turn the packs off? Maybe I do. Oh, no. I can't because they're in op. <laughs> oh, you know what I need to do? Duh. Come on. What? This is not a freaking Airbus. Uh, I've been flying too much Airbuses. I need to go up to the top and hit start here. Here we go. Oh, wait. No, 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 no. We can do both, right? Do this first, and then we do that. There we go. I probably did that completely wrong. I do apologize. <laughs> I haven't flown this plane in a while. All right, there we go. Now we see some movement there in the N2. We should see N1 rise here in just a second. There it is. N1 on engine number one. Two is looking good. Let's go outside. Um, but yeah, in the A320, the major problem with the uh, left... Was it the left engine? The right engine. One of the engines kept dying. That's fixed now. Or they said it is. I haven't tested it myself, but that is supposed to be fixed now. In the A320. Which is nice. Little APU problem that they were having. Uh, Julian, man, I'm loving the honeycomb yolk. I will absolutely recommend it. My thoughts on the honeycomb yolk is save your money and get it. Don't go for something cheaper. Yes, Mark R, the, a the default A320 is fixed from what they said in the release notes. Oh no, Mark said that the APU just died. Uh, Adrian Guzman, what is the PAX? The PAX is like an air source. We're well, not air source, but it's like it's this button over here. So there's a left PAX and there's a right PAX. I, I personally can't like really technically describe what it is because I don't know enough about it. I just know that in a lot of planes, like the Boeing 737, you need to turn them off to start the engine. All right, guys, we got two good engines. Let's go flaps down for takeoff. That's good. And that is all. All right, taxi lights on. That's going to be on my honeycomb. And we'll go ahead and move forward. Uh, let's turn the logo lights on, too, sure. Sure. Other than that, everything on the overhead looks good. We'll turn the APU off now. And we'll release the parking brake. And give it power. All right. Hide that for now. Oh, if I would I choose a honeycomb or a joystick, I would still, even though I really love the honeycomb yoke, I would still choose a joystick over it. And the reason why, and I'm, I'm, I always say this whenever you ask me, is because I also like to fly other things, like, you know, uh, uh, what's the thing, like uh, X-Cubs, fighter jets, helicopters. Like I, I, I just can't in good, good conscience fly a helicopter with a honeycomb yoke or fly an F-18 jet with the honeycomb yoke. I just can't do that in good conscience. So yeah, and in my opinion, I feel like a joystick is more diverse um, as far as the types of aircraft uh, that you can fly, even fly spaceships with it. You wouldn't want to fly a, a spaceship with the honeycomb yoke, you know? So I do, I do some space exploration type simulators as well. So if I had to only choose one, I would choose a joystick. But if I can have both, have both. So you can see a couple more King Airs over here on the runway. Uh, why did I say I missed X plane the other day? Uh, I don't know. It was actually weird. I was in bed. I was nowhere near my PC. Like I wasn't even playing the game, and I was like, "Huh, I kind of feel like playing X plane." 
I just kind of, I think I was just in a Zebo mood. That's really what it is. I just want to fly the Zebo. That's that's really it. That's the only reason I said that. Because I haven't I haven't played X Plane since August seventeenth. <laughs> I literally have not played. I updated it, but I still haven't played it. Sean Poe, how did I get the liveries? I have a link down there in the YouTube description. Uh, it's the uh, Mega Pack. The livery Mega Pack. They have livery for most of the aircraft. You can go down there and download that. It's pretty easy to install. Yeah, I got a couple King Airs on the runway. So this is gonna this is gonna happen. Uh, so we're probably not even gonna wait for them because they most likely spawn. Yep, they're spawning on the runway. Again, I don't know like if who's doing that. Like I don't know if Microsoft themselves is streaming or something like that, and they're flying King Airs out of Nagasaki or what. But like I keep seeing King Airs popping up, so we're just gonna ignore the fact that they're there. Turn the land lights on, strobe lights on. We're gonna get out of here. All right, so again, guys, we're cruising at 41,000 feet. We're going to fly via the departure that I have planned. Uh, approach is clear. Not that that actually matters. Renato, what's up, man? Welcome to the stream. Hola from Brazil. Good to see you, man. Good to see you. I'm also having a trouble with my live weather. My live weather is not working at all. Like, it's off. Like, I have it turned on, but it's off. You see that? It says live weather, but it's not actually working. I'm going to go to clear skies, go back to live, and see what happens. I'll give it a second. If not, I'm just going to throw some clouds out there. Paint some clouds out there. All right, we're just going to... I'm sorry, King Ares. <laughs> I'm taking the runway. No, whenever the update happens, you do not need to go and re-uninstall and reinstall your, your stuff. It's all good, thankfully. Thankfully. All right, guys, I'm rolling. Out and upon airlines at 116 is the part of way to something. Here we go. What up, Simpot? Alright, we're sterile. Airspeed's alive. Listen to a purr. We can use the HUD just for fun. Uh, I have Rex. Rex does not seem to be working after the update. Wow, look how much faster we are than this uh, King Air. We're going to fly right through him. Alright, and positive climb. Here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I missed the I missed the gear up. Ah, yeah, yeah. Woo, boy. We moving, though. Alright, let's go. Power back. Flap up a notch. Let's get rid of the HUD. Um, put on nav track. Flight director is on. And let's uh, zoom out this baby. So we can see our flight plan. All right now we're gonna continue flying runway heading. Okay, why isn't it moving? Oh, that's so annoying. All right, about to stall too. We are about to stall. Why are we about to stall? Oh, I see why. Nose down, nose down, nose down. There we go. I'm trying to increase my range using the scroll wheel, but whenever I miss the click spot, it actually ends up scrolling my camera, and it's making it very difficult for me to change it. I'm gonna have to map that to something rather than using my, look, look how hard it is for me to reach that. Like, it's so hard. Oh my god, would you not stop? Ah, it's so annoying. All right, well, I guess we just don't know where we're going. <laughs> so I can't see my map. I can't see my map. There we go. Is there a flight plan? Did I load a flight plan? I don't know. I just know we need to go north. So let's just turn north, which would be a right turn. All right, we're a bit slow. Let's fly the plane. Worry about technology later. And there's a problem I was talking about before. Like right now, I'm having a lot of issues with my elevator. They mentioned in the change log they fixed some elevator issues in the 787 and in the 8320. 
yet I am still feeling like I'm getting it. So at certain speeds, if I get below 100, I was testing it before the stream, if I get below 140 knots, especially on arrival, uh, which I don't really want to be that low, but if I do happen to dip below 140 knots on arrival, I can't pitch up. Uh, yeah, Senpai, this is kind of what I'm talking to you about, I guess. I, I'm having trouble pitching up. Matter of fact, I just froze. I'm not sure why I didn't do anything. I haven't, I haven't done anything except for live plane. Um, but yeah, it fro it, it, uh, I don't know, it's weird. You guys see me right now on, on, on live, on the camera, moving it up and down. It's working now. It's responding. Uh, I'll show you guys when we land. Hopefully, we don't crash in Tokyo. I'm going to do my best. I've only gotten to test it once, and I figured if I stay above 140 knots, it usually stays. It continues to be responsive. My pitch pitching up and down, but pitching up is the problem. So... Again, I don't know where our flight plan is. Let's take a look at, the, uh, not the live. Let's look at this over here. All right, yeah, all right, so we're going the right way. Huh, that's good. Let's go ahead and uh, just hit autopilot since uh, today is all about the scenery anyways. And we want to continue up. We're at 10,000 now, so let's go up to 41. Let's go ahead and put that in. All right, there's 41,000. And we'll change our speed. Uh, let's try it. Let's test out the VNAV. I'm gonna hit VNAV, see if it works. All right, let's, we're gonna do some tests today. We may have some issues. Just to warn you guys, but we're gonna test the VNAV. Uh, have LNAV selected, VNAV selected. Our final altitude of 41,000 feet is selected. We'll see what the plane decides to do. Flaps should be. Okay, now they're all the way up. Gear is up, and we're at 10,000. So land lights are gonna come off. All right, beautiful. All right, so right now I'm gonna kind of watch it just for a second. Don't worry, we're gonna look outside here in a bit. I wanna see, all right now it's gonna to try to climb us to 310 knots. I'm just trying to see if they made any adjustments to how this autopilot responds and how it works because that's been kind of my, our biggest complaint before. All right, here it is at 310 knots. Now the plane is nosing up about, what's that, 12, 10 degrees, which in a 787 is gonna put you at 6,000 feet per minute. Pretty darn fast. <laughs> oh, the 787, I love it. Alright, let's take a look at this, man. Look at this. Beautiful. Well, the entire island of Japan has been redone, from what I understand. New terrain data, a ton of new uh, points of interest. I think there's six new uh, handcrafted airports. There's Nagasaki out there. Six new handcrafted airports. Uh, what else do they add? Um, some new buildings, a bunch of stuff. Uh, some of the different cities have been re, uh, redone. I'm not sure if the city out there here has. So. Bless Benny. Welcome to the stream, man. Good to see you. Uh, but sim pilot, we got to see when we land if the landing glitch has been fixed. It's crazy. I've been seeing other people uh, fly the 787 and even stream the 787, and they don't tend they tend they tend not to have the same problem as I. And I don't know why. I'm not, not sure if it's something I'm doing wrong or what. But personally, when I'm landing, it's, it's been despite impossible for me to land this plane. Bless Benny. Thank you so much for that follow, man. Welcome to Blur Royal Family, my friend. It's great to see you. Glad to have you, man. Hope you're enjoying the flight and the stream. But, man, I think... Uh, did Have we done a flight in Japan yet? I don't think we have. I know we flew to Korea. I remember flying Korean Airlines or something. I think we did a flight to Korea or somewhere in China. But I don't think we've done any flights in Japan yet. So, welcome to Japan. <laughs> we'll be flying at 41,000 feet, so pretty darn high. Uh, but don't worry, today we're going to be landing in Tokyo, VFR in Tokyo. Tomorrow, um, I'm not promising that I'll be able to stream. I do have some other things I need to go and do tomorrow. I won't be home, uh, but I may be able to sneak a live stream in before I leave. And if we do, we have another quick stop to make tomorrow. Um, it'll be an early stream tomorrow. And then Thursday, uh, we'll probably come back to Japan. And if we haven't seen everything by Friday, we'll come back to Japan again. And, uh, and really hang out here and really get a, to be able to appreciate it. There's a lot of, um, there's a few international airports as well as some bush strips that they added to, to the, uh, to the sim. So you guys know how much we love bush flying. So we'll definitely be checking out those bush strips 
Uh, they also added some new, I think, three new landing challenges, as well as some type of tour of Japan series thingy, um, as well. They added, so it's pretty cool. That's what it was. Thank you, Tino. It was uh, Tokyo to sit Seoul, Tokyo to Seoul, Korea. Thank you very much for reminding me that. So it's been a while. That was like the first week. Um, so take a look at the wing flex. Again, it's something that they updated. Another thing they updated on the, uh, and you won't notice it here. See my call sign is ANA 116. Um, but back on the main menu, whenever you set a call sign in the ATC menu, for now on, it would actually save that. So next time you load into the sim, next time you load a flight, it'll be there automatically. So if you're somebody who uses the same call sign every time, that'll be very helpful to you. Like me, I use very similar call signs or the same call sign, especially if I fly GA. I use the same call sign every time, so really nice to not have to change that anymore. Yeah, yeah, I agree with that, Kabaya. And the cool thing, the thing that actually excites me the most, and even when I saw that trailer for Japan, the thing that actually excites me the most, even more than the fact that Japan got the world update, is that, first of all, it's only a month after the game has been released or the sim has been released that we're getting our first world update for Japan which is you know it's not a massive area there's a lot of terrain data here there's a lot of mountains look at these beautiful mountains out here man matter of fact let's uh my live weather is not working it was working earlier um, before I stream now that I'm streaming it is no longer working so we're gonna put uh we'll do like broken we'll do scattered uh, nope that's too many it's too few we'll do few clouds but yeah so as I was saying um what was I saying? Something about, oh yeah. What I'm really excited about is future world updates. Like who's next, right? Where are they gonna go next? What part of the world are they gonna update and do a new world update? Cause that came out very soon. I was not expecting to see a world update within the first month. Not saying and not expecting them to come out every month with the world update. But they did say each month they wanna come out with some type of major update. Um, and for this to be one of them is, is pretty, it sets it kind of sets the scene for future ones you know what i mean like i think this is a pretty exciting update and it's not only japan they actually updated i think they said 700 other airports around the world uh with community feedback like there's a lot of like, feedback of probably runways being wrong taxiway signs being wrong lighting being wrong in some way and so they went through all the airports in the entire simulator and they updated about 700 of them so or is it 600 i may be a bit wrong on my number but it's something like that so pretty cool yes sir i'm running this on a 1080 ti my uh specs are down in the description you can also type in exclamation mark specs and check that out as well i love this livery this ana 787 inspiration of japan I like that i like that a lot I, how are we looking at our climb we're already at freaking 33,000 feet this plane is a mother trucking beast let's hit the um the uh, bear roads a standard here. There we go. We're on standard. So we're at 33, 34,000 feet now. Almost at 41,000. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? No, I didn't forget to do it. Nice. All right, cool. So we have um, some toolkit running. So it'll let us know how far we are. Uh, so our ET right now is 57 minutes from Tokyo, uh, which will definitely drop down once we get our uh, speed up because we're not even, not even going as fast as we can go yet. I'm not sure what this weird light is. I guess that's something coming from over there. So really quickly, I want to do. I want to go back through while we're kind of about to level off here in a few minutes. I want to check out uh, and, and see some of the change log here, and we can kind of talk about some of the things that they updated. Um, we know the the 1.8 update was pretty large. <laughs> and by large, I mean the change log was pretty large. They changed a lot of things. We have been complaining a lot about the the you know the how bad the autopilots were stuff like that they attempted to fix all that and they ended up breaking a lot more things and i think now sorry it was 700 plus u.s airports that's what that was um let's see if they changed the sensitivity screen is back guys canadian goat hello thank you very much for uh, confirming that for me bro uh a meme blew my marketplace or some of planes 
are not in game. I'm not sure what you're asking. I have seen somebody else uh, in chat say they had a problem with the marketplace being grayed out or not showing up at all. I didn't personally have that problem, um, but I'm not really sure what's causing that. I will definitely keep an eye on the forum to see as uh, new problems will probably arise every few minutes uh, of different things. And I'm, I promise you, you will not be the only one dealing with that problem. So definitely check that out and see if people are already finding workarounds, if they're finding bugs, stuff like that, you know what I mean? I agree, I agree, uh, Kabaya. I was thinking the same thing. The fact that it, the game is only, or sorry, The Sim has only been out for a month now. We're getting such a major world update. Uh, we already have a ton of, you know, uh, generic default planes, which again, they're not study level. Don't get me wrong, they're definitely not study level. But still, I mean, for the same quality of a plane in X plane, for example, of any of the, the, of the default planes would cost you a good $25, $30, right? Uh, and we're getting it for a price of 120 uh, for a, like, was it 40 planes? I don't, I, mean, I may be wrong on that, but it's a bunch of planes, right? So you're definitely getting your money's worth. But think about this game in 10 years from now, right? 10 years from now, uh, how many world updates will we have in 10 years? How many new aircraft will we have in 10 years? How many new developers and new scenery will we have in 10 years? Not even that long. Let's think about like, I don't know, how long has X-Plane been out now? Six? Six years? How about three years from now? How, how legit? Will Microsoft Flight Center to be in three years? Um, I definitely see a, a really pop, good future. I do know that X Plane has something up their sleeve, and they're working on some things too. I'm not sure if it's X Plane 12 or another update, but I do know X Plane uh, 11 is uh, it's it's not just sitting back and relaxing right now, right? Um, so X Plane is going to continue to be competitive in the future, um, but. As far as Microsoft right now, man, it's it's got a, a really good future. This is a great starting point, a great base. Again, this is a this this Japan world stuff is added to the base of the game. This is not like people like third party developers can go on top of the Japan world scenery and make it even better wherever it falls short. You know what I mean? So and yeah, I agree. X Plane Twelve has a lot of ground to make up. Um, personally, I've mentioned this in past streams before, but for me personally, they're going to need to come out. Oh, hey, look at that scenery. They're going to need to come out with that right there. Scenery, clouds, weather. That's what I need from X-Plane. Their flight model is great. Their aircraft, uh, would by default, are basically equal to these. Um, but their aircraft are, um, third-party aircraft are very good. Very, very good. I love them. Um, but weather is what I need. Now, weather, I need that. I need the lighting i need the scenery that i don't I don't have to download 100 gigabytes or freaking 10 terabytes from ortho 4 xp like that should be built like x plane should basically like buy out the ortho guy like all right this is how we're gonna do it except we're gonna have the license now uh something like that that'd be pretty cool flight sim master hello welcome to the stream and almost missed you bro welcome to the stream good to see you john Doe, welcome man walking fruit welcome Carlos Aviegas, hello, welcome to the stream. You played Microsoft Flight Simulator since the second version. Now you can imagine how impressed I am with this one. Yeah, yeah, for sure, man. For sure. The second version, like FS2, like 90 something. <laughs> Look at the scenery, man. Japan, beautiful Japan. I remember when I was first getting into flight sim streaming, I was doing Infinite Flight. And big shout out to Infinite Flight. They have a big update coming out pretty soon as well. I haven't played that in a while. People keep asking me, when am I going to play Infinite Flight? I don't know. Honestly, don't know. Um, but my point is, I remember back when Infinite Flight added global scenery to their mobile flight simulator. I was so impressed by flying over Japan. Um, because it looked, sim it looked kind of like this. Similar, except for no clouds. Uh, but it looked similar, similar, similar to this because it had ortho imagery worldwide. And it looked beautiful. Now, even the water had ortho on it. And um, the only th problem was once you get down low, you don't really see anything. Like, it's just kind of like blurry images. Um, here, it's kind of like you take Infinite Flight and you put buildings on top of that and clouds and a beautiful lighting uh, engine or whatever. And then, you, and then some, and some nice planes and you, and you get to go. But the point is, is like back then I was like, man, it looks so good. And now I'm like finally in the PC sim looking at the exact same area. Uh, and just seeing how beautiful it looks with the clouds. I wish that my live weather was working right now, but 
it's all good. I, I think that it may be a bit overcast, so it may be a good thing that it's not working anyways. But yeah, I've been loving it out here, man. Looking forward to VFR out in Tokyo, checking that out. Looking forward to the new landing challenges. Looking forward to flying. To the, there's a lot of new airports, and we don't have enough time to go to all of them today, but I'm looking forward to flying and checking those out. No problem, Walking Fruit. Appreciate you stopping by, man. Stainless, what up, man? I'm not deleting X Plane. No, not yet. <laughs> I'm not ready. I'm not ready to let go, man. X Plane, that's that's my heart right there, man. Seriously, I know I haven't been playing it in a month, but still, like me and X Plane got something. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, let's see, Amen says, do you, do I recommend deleting the whole game and see if you get all the planes back? No, um, deleting the game is should be a last resort i'm not sure what your your issue is completely but i would say deleting the game should be your last result because a lot of people are still having trouble just downloading the entire game uh off the bat so uh, maybe if you can figure it out i don't know it's kind of weird that you got in you updated and now your planes are gone so i don't know man i'm sorry i, can't, I wish i could help I mean, how many times have you heard of a new scenery releasing every day for a different simulator in a few years? It's going to be crazy. It's true. It's true because these developers are not letting up, man. Like, they're still developing for all, those, all the platforms. P3D scenery is still coming out. X-Plane 11 scenery is still coming out. Microsoft Flight Simulator scenery is obviously coming out. Um, so there's new scenery coming out every single day for different platforms. So I feel bad for you if, you try to, if you're going to try to do all of them. Personally, I mean... I'm gonna eventually find a place for X Plane, you know, like in my in my flight simming. Um, but right now, to be honest with you, I'm not buying any X Plane scenery. Um, if I buy scenery, it's gonna be on Microsoft Flight Simulator. If I, well, I don't know, I'm, I don't know if I'm buying anything for X Plane actually. Now that I think about it, uh, maybe you know, maybe a while. Maybe there's a few things I'm still looking forward to. Like there's supposed to be an MD11, and there's supposed to be an Aerobasque 8X or something like that. I might buy those. Other than that, because I already wanted to buy those like a year ago. Other than that, I don't see myself buying anything else unless it's extremely valuable um, and I get a really good price for it, or at least I, or somebody gives it to me. Um, but it's gonna be tough to buy anything for me personally right now financially. Um, if I'm buying something, it's gonna be on my, on Microsoft Flight Simulator. Just, just I don't, know, just don't have enough money to give all y'all my money. <laughs> I don't think it would be a bad idea to not make an X-Plane 12. I don't think it would be a bad idea. Um, as a company, I think it might be a good idea to do X-Plane 12. I, I feel like X-Plane 11 kind of maxed out what it can do as a base sim. It's a great flight simulator for real life flight training. Uh, everything you need is there. Um, and if it's not, third parties have already done it. You know what I mean? The thing is, X-Plane 12, I feel like it would just have to be a very dramatic difference for them to actually claim and rename it to 12. Other than that, if it's just, if it's anything less, it would just need to stay 11. I don't see a problem with that. A uh, professional version of Microsoft Flight Simulator, that's, that's a possibility. That's a possibility. Like Kind of like how P3D has like different versions that cost a ridiculous amount. I don't get that, honestly. But yeah, I, I kind of get what you're saying. Yeah, I kind of get that. Yeah, <laughs> Allen Farms. That's how. That's how. I, that's what I thought too. I saw P3D out of nowhere. They released was it V5 or something, and uh, they kind of rebranded the P3D logo and stuff like that too. And it happened obviously right in the kind of in the hype of Microsoft Flight Simulator coming out. And I was like, what is this? Why? Why are you really, like, I, like, what is it? What's the difference? I was looking at screenshots and I was like, what, what, what changed? I mean, I, I'm personally not a P3D person. I come from X-Plane 11. Uh, so I don't, you know, I don't really follow that that much. But just looking at it, I was like, so what changed? It looks just like FSX and what P3D had before, which wasn't that great. The good thing is that P3D V5, I believe, 
I think all of the uh, the sceneries and planes that you had before were already compatible with it, which was great, which makes it kind of an easy upgrade uh, if all your current add-ons already work with it. But I don't know, just it didn't, it, I don't know, it, it it didn't attract me at all, like none. I was in no way attracted to it. I don't think I, I barely even mentioned it. Um, but yeah, I mean, they're still moving. They're still doing their thing, I guess. Scenery looks so much better at 3,000 feet. Agreed. Agreed. Well, we're we're going to take a look at that here after this flight. I know all my IFR lovers out there giving you guys what you want. And then we're going to do some VFR once we get to Tokyo. It's going to be real nice. Looking forward to it. Hopefully. this is the, the My main concern when we get to Tokyo is, is not so much. Oh, well, yeah. It's just frames. Uh, we all kind of joked about getting two FPS in Japan, especially around Tokyo with all the buildings going on. So hopefully... Uh, where we're proven wrong because <laughs> I don't want to be flying with two frames out there in Tokyo. Where are we right now? What is this city? Let's see, we're currently flying over. Uh, yeah, there's some pretty bad weather out here on the live weather scanner. It's not showing up here because we're using a preset. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, Flight Sim Master says FS2050 is gonna be like you can walk into your house without ever leaving your chair. That's, that's yeah, that's basically what I expect as well. Mario Jim, what's up? Welcome to the stream. Yeah, I agree, Mario. Let me, let me try it again. Let me try it again. We'll try doing live weather again. We'll see if it's working now. But it wasn't working for me earlier. Let's see what happens. Hopefully, it doesn't crash. So I don't think it's working. Yeah, there's actually supposed to be a pretty bad storm right where we are currently. Wow, when you turn all the clouds off, it looks just like infinite flight. <laughs> yeah, our live weather's not working. It's so weird. It's so funny. Right before I started streaming, I did a test flight, and I had live weather on, and I heard the uh, the, the thunderstorms. I heard the, the thunder, and I saw the lightning. They actually said they updated the lightning so that the lightning actually shows up in places that it's supposed to show. Um, so that's another piece of the update, but I guess we can't, we can't see that today, sadly. And if you guys bought Rex, the Rex weather system, that for me, I'm not sure you guys can let me know how it's working for you, but for me, that is also not working uh, after the update, the, uh, weather from Rex. Right, how are we looking? Why is this thing still not working? How come I can't see my flight plan on my map? Currently, we are 43 uh, minutes out from Tokyo. You're manually flying to Tokyo? Yeah, man. Yeah, man, that'd be fun. Not so much in the 787. Uh, okay, range says 640, yet I see nothing on my flight plan. Is that a new bug? I have a flight plan. It's flying the flight plan. It's flying the Ikuno right now. Uh, the weather says we're at uh, 27004 is the winds. I'm not sure if that's correct. I feel like it's not. Usually wind is not that freaking calm at 41,000 feet. So I don't know if the winds are off or working. Turn the weather radar on and see if that does anything. I see a... Uh, oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, let's go back. How do I go back? Map view. All right, range is set to 80. You see some scattered out here on the radar. Let's, set, let's leave it at 80. So that that's working. But yeah, our. Yeah, I guess that's gotta be a bug. That's gotta be. Let's go to legs, flight plan, routes. Interesting. Interessante. What about this side? How do I change this side? I can't remember how to change this side. I think it's this one. There we go. Alright, I'll set it to 160. Again, nothing coming up on our on our map. 
And we can put to weather on that one too, I think, right? There we go. And nada. Weird, weird, weird. So, yeah. I mean, it's weird. It's, from time to time, I have issues with my weather not showing up. You know what I think that is? I think that is actually those clouds. Let me see if I go to live weather if anything changes. I'm going to end up breaking this thing. I am definitely going to break this thing doing this over and over. Nice. You see? Yeah, now it's going away. Let's see if it draws anything for us. John Erickson, now I was just mentioning just a second ago that Rex is not working after the update. If anybody else in chat has Rex, can you confirm that it's also not working for you? Because so far I'm the only one who I know who has Rex that's tried it since the update. And I agree, the winds aloft are better. Um, and the METAR, all that stuff is better. Um, but I'm still kind of mixed on how I feel about Rex. I like it. I'm not, I don't, I don't, I don't regret buying it. All right, it's not working. Let's go ahead and go to a few. Um, but yeah, for things like this, because it, it, it kind of annoys me when I look here and look at my wind. It's like, oh, you have a, a four knot tailwind. I'm like, you're lying. You're freaking lying. Ain't no freaking four knot tailwind. Man, McMahon, welcome to the stream, man. Right now, we're kind of testing out the, the update, checking out to see what works, what doesn't work. Uh, so far, the weather has uh, not gotten much better. At least for me now, right, right now. And it could be the possibility that my live weather is just not connecting right now. That could be the reason mine looks so off. So I, I'll have to do a second flight, reload the flight, do a second flight uh, some other time and see if it's still doing that. So don't completely take my word for that right now because it could be just a one-off kind of thing. Uh, but so far, look, it's been looking good. We use VNAV to climb up, to climb. Uh, we'll attempt to use VNAV to descend. Uh, we'll actually also see if VNAV is actually drawing anything in here. And we go, where's next? Next. I don't think it is because it says 310 all the way. Oh, yeah, there it is, 4,000. Yeah, well, I'll test VNAV on the way down, too. We'll see if that works. If it does, I mean, I'll pff, salute to 787. I'll be surprised if it does, but hopefully it does. All right, Mario says he's on live. His winds are off for 260 and 44. Yeah, so it's just my my own system right now. That's what I kind of thought. Oh, well, we'll enjoy the... Uh, we'll just pretend like today's a nice day in Japan. No problem, John. Yeah, but yeah, I have it, and uh, I've been using it all week. I've been actually enjoying it, been liking it. I have a few uh, things that I don't like so much about it, but uh, I like the, Re the Rex weather engine so far. It gives you way more accurate um, local weather, but uh, it's I've tried using it. It doesn't seem to be working with um, after the update. So there may need an, there need to be another update for uh, Rex now that this update's coming out. Come out. But where we're flying right now, uh, we actually passed Hiroshima a little while ago. We're flying by. I wish I actually knew the name of these places. Kind of hard to tell. Uh, Miyoshi? <laughs> if, that make, if that means anybody, anything to anybody, we're flying over Miyoshi right now. Miyoshi, I like the name of that. Miyoshi, I like Yoshi. And again, 38 minutes out from uh, from Tokyo. In the uh, weather, if we were running real, real weather, would be clearing up from here on out, heading north right now towards Tokyo. Uh, Man McMahon, yes, you will get. Uh, everybody gets the airports. It's a free update for everyone. Doesn't matter which version of the uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator you got, whether it be the. Uh, Premium, deluxe, doesn't matter. Everybody gets the update, which is I think is really dope. All right, back to some Japanese alternative hip hop <laughs> on Blue Arrow Radio FM 116. You're riding with A and A 116. Uh, it was so much slower than I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> yeah, the angle of attack does look better, doesn't it? Let's see. Uh, Ed Reed. 
the uh, nose is not so high up as it used to be. That's a good catch. Uh, to the person that was saying that they're not getting uh, the stuff in the marketplace showing up, uh, there is a post on the forum already about it, so go check that out. All right, thank you, Alan. Rex has released a statement as well on Facebook saying that an update is coming, so that's dope. That's really good. Am I going to find a CRJ when it releases? Absolutely. That's going to be pretty much an, uh, an insta-buy for me. Yeah, very good catch. I love the mountains out in Japan, man. I think the mountains are great. I don't see why you wouldn't be able to bush fly out here, man. There's so much scenery out here. Crazy. Justin Coriel, I got this livery from the Mega Pack, the Livery Bank Mega Pack. I have the link in the description actually on YouTube uh, for all the liveries. You can go check it out. Yes, there is also an SDK update. I keep saying that I'm gonna go look at the freaking change log and I keep getting distracted. Thank you for saying that. Uh, let's Nan X Silly. What's up, my friend? Welcome to the stream, my friend. Uh, you said you see a lot of people have moved from Infinite Flight, uh, including me. Uh, not sure what you mean exactly by that, but yes, I've been uh, flying other simulators for quite a while. Uh oh, it just froze. Please come back. Oh, our first crash! <laughs> oh, oh no! Oh, somebody give me some calm music. Well then, how long did that take? That took us an hour. An hour into the stream, got our first crash. Uh, and the latest up, you know, that's crazy. Cause the, the update before this, I didn't get not one crash. Hmm, I wonder what caused it. Oh, we'll have to load back in again. How lame. Uh, no, the update does not erase your liveries. Uh, it also, it doesn't actually touch your community folder at all. Um, so if you have liveries or mods in your community folder, uh, the update will not affect any of those. Yep, R. Rip F in the chat for that freaking crash right there. That's too bad. It would be nice to have a ghost stream. It was Captain Bombo, so that's what it was. As soon as he hopped in, it crashed. Uh, we had to answer your question about Infinite Flight. Yeah, man, it all started for me on Infinite Flight. Honestly, it all started for me in Microsoft Flight Simulator 98 or 97, one of those. Way back in the freaking day, that was my first ever flight simulator. I played that, didn't know what the heck I was doing at all. <laughs> uh, all I knew how to do was take off in a straight line and, and hit the autopilot button. That's all I knew how to do. I didn't know how to descend. I didn't know how to find an airport, nothing. Uh, later on, a couple years later, I got into X-Plane 10. I learned, I joined a virtual airline in X-Plane 10. They taught me everything uh, on how to do navigation, how to start planes from cold and dark, how to talk to ATC, stuff like that. Later on, um, I got into X-Plane 11. I loved X-Plane 11. The only issue was I was playing on a MacBook Pro uh, and it could not handle it. I was running about 10 frames per second on X-Plane 11 back then and uh, ATC would just yell at me all the time because I was going so slow. Um, so I was like, you know what, I can't do this. So I was like, you know what, I got a really nice iPhone. I'm gonna check out the different mobile flight simulators. I checked out X-Plane 10 Mobile. Didn't really care for it too much. Didn't really do it for me. I tried out uh, Aerofly FS 20 something. Um, it was kind of cool, but didn't completely do it for me. Um, and then I got into Infinite Flight. I freaking fell in love with Infinite Flight. For one, it had multiplayer. It had ATC, it had nice graphics, all, it had a, a world, a globe, um, it had a really strong, friendly, nice community and developers who support it and back it.
And uh, anyways, so did that, got into streaming, started streaming Infinite Flight, um, and that did pretty well. Uh, I think my first, what, my first 1,500 to 1,200 followers were all Infinite Flight. Um, matter of fact, probably more, probably 3,000, because my first Infinite Flight video, or not my first, my review for Infinite Flight got over 100,000, 200,000 views on it. So I had a lot of freaking support from that. Um, then I got into x Plane 11 when I got my PC. I moved up to, X to PC Sims because I just want more um, realism. I wanted more options, more buttons to press, more realism. Got into that, still did Infinite Flight, kind of jumped back and forth. Um, and it started kind of going more to X-Plane a bit more. And now obviously Microsoft Flight Simulator is out and now we kind of focus more on Microsoft Flight Simulator. So that is kind of my, my, my flight sim background as a stall, getting ready for <laughs> uh, Microsoft to come back after our first crash of the update. Um, what time is it? We definitely don't have time to do the entire flight. We were 30 minutes out uh, from from there. So let's do this real quick. We'll do this. I'm gonna, we're just going to go straight to Tokyo. Uh, we'll probably land right in Tokyo and then uh, we'll, we'll figure it out. But I want to show you guys a few things from the update. Before we go while we're chilling, jamming out to this <laughs> Japanese music. Oh my god. Okay, let me let me at least turn it down. Because it's like it's like, it's like so relaxing and loud at the same time. It reminds me when I went with my wife to get acupuncture one time. I was like, I didn't do it. She did it. I didn't do it. I don't believe in needles in me. Uh, but she did it, and it was crazy. I was like, what the heck is wrong with you? We got any more of that, uh, that good old uh, Japanese hip-hop? Man, you guys yeah, you guys ever heard of Japanese hip-hop? Japanese hip-hop be going hard. Y'all don't sleep on that Japanese hip-hop. They be going in. Just, just like the, the European stuff. I'll be digging it. I'll be digging it. Hey, I don't know what this is. Wait, what is this? Japan, African continent. That sounds interesting. Anyways, uh, so to the main menu. Um, so here under activities, we got some new activities. We got, uh, I think, a few new landing challenges under strong wind. Uh, we have the Kurama, R-O-K-R, -R, Japan, which is pretty cool. I'll have to try that out later on. So that's new there. Uh, if we go back uh, to Famous, there's a new one in there as well. The first one, actually. Uh, Hija Hachi. Hashi Jojima, <laughs> Japan. I think it's, is that, that's not where we took off from, but that's a pretty good one. Really digging that. So they only add one. Yeah, it looks like they just added one in there. And then they have under, uh, oops, I hit the wrong button. They also added on the homepage, you'll notice here, Tour of Japan. This is pretty cool. I'm, not, I'm seeing a lot of people in King Areas, I think because of this reason. There's a flight going from basically our exact same flight plan, except in a King Air. And it'll take you about two hours and 39 minutes. That's if you do it perfectly. It'll probably take you more like three hours to do this entire flight. Uh, but it's basically a sightseeing tour. That's pretty darn cool. I look forward to trying it out later on. Beetle table, you are added, my friend. All right, let's go back. And we will go to the world map. Let's see where we can kind of jump in. I'm not going to do that entire flight. What is these? That's cool. These little thingies. Oh, are all these new? Oh, that's cool. Yeah, this is a really good airport, guys. I recommend you guys checking out R-O-R-S. Check it out. That's a really nice airport. That's the one that was in the uh, landing challenge. Never heard of this one. It's probably a little bush strip yep, on an island. That's pretty cool. Uh, we took off out of uh, Nagasaki right here, RJFU. I see you guys in the air. Actually, I could probably take off from, like, the air, couldn't I? Let's see if we can spawn in on Beetle Table. <laughs> I know that sounds so weird, but yes, yeah, spawn in on Beetle Table. And can I load a flight plan? Is that possible? Can I do both? Is that is that possible? Let's test it. Let's test it out. Definitely not Harry. What's up, man? Good to see you. Welcome to the stream. Good to see you. All right, so the entire flight plan's in here. We were over here somewhere. I don't know how to, like, spawn in in the middle of it, though. Like, I don't want to start in Nagasaki. I want to start out here somewhere. Could I delete some of these? Ha ha. All right, we're about to try, to, we're about to try something. Let me start over here at Natch. I'm going to delete everything before Natch. Let's see if that's possible. Remove. I'm going to test some out. It's a theory I have now. Remove. Uh, Nagasaki. Remove. Oh, did I delete the whole thing? Did I freaking delete the whole thing? Oh, well. Uh, we will... Uh, Alright. Um, we're just going to land. Yeah. We're just going to do a, a landing into Tokyo. That's what we're going to do. Uh, what runway were we expecting earlier? It was runway three something. Eyeless three four three five. 
I think it was three four Zulu. Let's do that. Yes, luckily for me it was virtual. So we'll do that. We'll do that. And there's it already put the ILS in there for us, which is nice. I guess we'll start from Tokyo vicinity. Uh sure. And we can also test if our live weather works now too. I'm gonna put this on live weather. And let's just see what happens. I don't know what's gonna happen. We'll just see what happens. You know, when things crash, you just kind of have to improvise. So we'll fly, uh, we'll land in Tokyo to kind of complete our first flight, or, or at least feel like we sort of completed our first flight. For me, I'd have to really like take off and then land for me to really feel completed. Uh, if I don't do that, I don't feel completed. I can't just start, I, just, I can't just start in the air. I, I just can't. But for you guys, I'm doing it. Dino AVH, welcome to the stream, man. Good back. Welcome back, man. Ty says, you see your name on there, but your game crashed as well. Huh, did we all crash? The issue is if I start on somebody, I don't get the flight plan. So I'm just going to be in the air lost. So that's that's the kind of the reason I didn't want to spawn right on top of somebody at 41,000 feet in a 787. Now, if we were flying GA, that would be no problem. All right, let's see what happens. Hopefully our weather be, will, will be good. Um, our ILS stuff should be like loaded and pl plugged in. We'll see what altitude gives us. Gives us. We'll see. I, mean, I don't do this very often, but we'll see what happens. We'll just go with it. But the cool thing is we'll spawn right on top of Tokyo. Am I planning a long haul? No, I am not. Um, I see a lot of potential for long hauls. I see a lot of pe I see, I predict many long haul people or many people doing long hauls uh, here into Japan. Japan is a long haul destination. Most people who fly to Japan usually start from somewhere far as heck away. Have I ever seen the video on YouTube of the hotel in Japan with the cockpit-sized flight sim in your room? Ooh, that sounds fun. Cheyenne, thank you very much for that subscription. Welcome to the Blue Arrow Royal Family. You guys are also getting a good live look at how long my load time is in the, into Tokyo. I'm not keeping track of exactly how long it is, but it's, uh, I think it's, load times for me so far have seemed typical. They seem about the same as they have been. And usually if you load into somewhere with a lot more focused scenery, it usually does take longer, just like an X-Plane. If you load into somewhere, you ain't got no scenery, it takes like no time. If you load in somewhere that has a ton of scenery, it takes a bit longer. So out in Nagas Nagasota, Naga something, Nagasaki, <laughs> out in Nagasaki, it didn't take that long out in the field uh, to load out there. And it'll probably take a little bit longer in Tokyo. I'm doing good, Cheyenne. Thanks for asking. How are you doing? Hopefully you guys are getting the update uh, loaded in pretty easily. I know the last couple updates have been pretty, uh, pretty big headache with uh, people having problems with <laughs> the uh, thing with uh, downloading it. Is there any other songs? What is this? Ooh, what is this? Have I seen the bug with the autopilot? No. Which which plane? Is it all of them or is it just a specific one? It is taking quite a long time too. But no, I have not seen that video in that hotel room. That sounds pretty legit. I would love to have a cock I would love to have a flight simulator the size of a real life cockpit in a dedicated room. That would be the, that would be the dream of any flight simulator. All right, here we are uh, in Tokyo. Uh, I, I think it put us right on final, which is good. And it's nighttime. Hmm, I'm gonna change it to daytime. I don't know, but nighttime kind of sounds fun. Let's do daytime. Hold on. I'm going to have to change this up like real quick. Um, let's go ahead and kill the music. We're landing now. <laughs> okay, here we go. I'm going to switch you guys over to the uh, landing camera for the flight controls. Just give me a second to manipulate some things in OBS. Alright, here we go. 
All right, are we good? Are we good? All right, so you see I'm having that issue. What I mentioned earlier, once you dip below like 140 knots, like elevator up becomes basically unresponsive. That's a similar issue to what I had in the 1.8 version. But gear's already down, flaps are already down, uh, auto brakes have not been armed. We'll set that to like three. That should be plenty of room. And you know what? Screw it. Let's do a nighttime landing. That sounds like fun. Well, we're going to be flying around here anyway, so I think nighttime sounds dope. Oh my god, look at this. <laughs> love it. Love the night lighting. Love it. All right, let me get my view situated. We'll get the HUD up. We'll do it. Oh, look at the HUD. That looks nice. All right, so you see speed drop below 140 now. The Look at that. Look at that. Unresponsive. It's moving here. I'm all the way 100% back. I got to give it throttle to raise the nose though. So you really have to fly out. You really have to fly out the throttle because you don't basically have any control over the pitch once you get too slow. I know, right? Don't crash twice. <laughs> All right, guys. This is basically our Tokyo Ineda International landing challenge. This is basically what's happening right now. Hey, on a pawn, Airlines 116 is on a five mile final runway, three, four left. Tokyo. All right, gear is down again, indicating. Flaps are also indicating. Land lights are all on. And we're high. I wonder what runway this is. I think it is 35. Maybe. Not sure. I agree. I agree that the pitch thing is stupid. And I think it's, it's got to be a bug. There's no way it's like that in real life. I've never flown any other plane in the sim that has that, has that issue. Matter of fact, before the update before last, I didn't have that issue either. So it's got to be a bug. And so that's the reason why I haven't been flying a 787. And I'm like, am I doing something wrong? Because I've been asking other people if they're having the same issue. And they're like, no, nah, I haven't seen that issue. I'm like, okay, what the heck am I doing wrong? All right, so I have to really watch my speed. Here comes 141. Actually, matter of fact, look at that. 141 knots, completely lost elevator control. I can go down if I want to, but I don't want to because then I'm going to crash. So I need to get it above 146 or so to really regain that pitch control. And I'm high. Five. So if I pull back the throttle to lose altitude, I can't put the nose up to try to, like, yeah, it's just kind of, I don't know. Look at that. Look at it. I'm completely pulling back and we're nose diving into the numbers right now. Probably to cause us to float, we'll do our best. Beautiful night lighting though. We're on the line. Like, I can't flare. Okay, there it is. <laughs> Still can't flare. Okay, here's, the, yeah, it's just being weird. I don't think it's a sensitivity issue either. It can't be, all right, so now it's working. And we're floating it big time. We're still, still not down. Now we're down. Use the entire runway. I think we land on the short runway. We need full reverse thrust. And we're using the entire length of the runway. Every single freaking bit of it. <laughs> Welcome to Japan. I'm oh, sorry, to Tokyo. We started in Japan. Let's see if we can get turned around. Come on, baby. Yeah, this is this just annoys me with the seven eight. Am I still in reverse? No, I'm not. Turn. I'm not sure what the landing rate was. Does it say? No. I think because we crashed, it kind of disconnected my sim pilot. I was gonna, you know, attack through the grass here. Yeah, plane loves to dance on the runway. We were, I mean, we were idle power at around 123 knots, still floating it on, over the runway. So, yeah. <laughs> that doesn't sound right. 
All right, we'll turn off the lane lights and the strobes, leave on the taxi lights, and we'll taxi the parking. So what we'll do, guys, is uh, we'll go ahead and move on to our VFR flight once we get parked at the gate. So we'll spawn back here at uh, Tokyo, RJTT, and I'll probably fly. I'll probably fly to 172. I'm in the mood to fly to 172. So I'll probably take the 172 and we'll do some VFR flying around the city and I'll check it out. And obviously I'll change the time of day to uh, daytime so we can actually see what we got. All right, flaps coming all the way up. And right around now is we turn the APU on. Very close one, Grimlock. Very close one. All right. It's a nice airport. Tokyo uh, was already one of the handcrafted airports included. I don't, I'm not sure in what package you get uh, Tokyo, but Tokyo was already a handcrafted airport before this release. So that's a very nice version of Tokyo here. I'm not online. All right. We gotta re we gotta respawn anyways. I gotta go back to the main menu anyways. Thank you, Johnny, for the follow up to Blu-ray family. I do apologize, guys, for uh, that crash. I just don't have time to go back and redo the entire flight, so we have to kind of do improvise and and just do basically what everybody was waiting for anyways was the landing. All right, brakes on, and we'll turn the engines off and turn off the beacons, taxi lights. Beautiful. Man, I love this livery. I wish we could have did a. I wish we could have completed a full flight with it. Uh, as much as I love the 787, I just don't know if I can fly it with that issue on, on landing. I mean, you guys were saying that the speeds are around 155 and, and whatnot, which I guess is fine. Maybe I need to come in a little faster. If that's the case, then maybe we can try it again. Oh, I love the way this thing looks. Okay, let me stop looking at it. All right, I'm going to go back to the main menu, and we're going to hop in something else and take us on a little bit of a VFR flight around Tokyo. Simpile, you got some uh, long-haul flight ideas? Yeah, I don't... Well, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to say I'm never going to do a long-haul, but if I do it, most likely I won't do it as a live stream just because that's a long... You know, it's a six, seven-plus-hour you know, live stream I got to do. Let's see if I can find any other world music from this side of the planet. All right, world map. We're gonna be at uh, RJTT once again. What runway we land on just now? Oh, we landed on two two guys. That's like one of the shorter runways. That's a fail on Microsoft's part, putting us on the short runway. So I'm gonna take a ramp 805. Says departure. And I'm hopping to 172. I could take the uh, that old ovation out, but nah, we'll save that one for later. Save that one for later. Oh, actually, uh, yeah, yeah, we'll do 172. Or uh, should we do a bonanza? Hmm. Think about doing a bonanza. We'll stick to my plan. 1,000. I'm doing the Cessna 172 with the steam gauges and in here i'll change the call sign november 116 and again these are going to these are going to save so whenever i reload the sim i don't have to re-put these in this is always going to save be saved as whatever i last put there i'm gonna leave it on live live weather but not live time we'll do like around um, we'll do morning 9 15 a.m all players usa east and that is all. No destination. Just actually, you know what? Let me see. Let me see if there's any of the uh, bush strips around here we can land at. Tokyo Sky Tree. There's Narita. Here's uh, something else. Yeah, I don't think I don't think any of those are out here. So we'll just we'll just hit fly. I right, change the music up. I'm getting tired of it. <laughs> I can't do it. I can't do it anymore. What else we got? China. No, it's probably gonna be the same. 
Just hit some beats. There we go. I'm digging that. I'm digging that. Oh, I forgot. I had you guys on that camera. My bad. Hello. Hey. Now we jam. They fixed the water? Fix it how? What was wrong with it? That's good, Mario. So they're they're also adjusting the ATC even more. That's good. Like I turned mine off. I'm probably gonna turn it back on and and, and try it sometime here in the, in the near future because I've had some pretty big complaints about it. So I've I've turned it off completely. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I'm done. I don't want any more ATC from you guys. I may try it again now they've now that they've made multiple updates of changes to ATC, maybe it may, might be worth me trying it out. Yeah, I'm looking at the forum now and I'm seeing lots of different issues. Nothing that I've particularly had. Still wondering what caused my crash and is it gonna continue happening? I mean I really won't know until I do more IFR flights in the 787 particularly, right? Like, is it going to happen to me again next time I fly 787? Or, you know, I don't know. The water effects? Like, what kind of water effects? Like, do we actually get, like, some type of splash or a wake in the water whenever you land on the water now with, like, the icon? Is that going to happen? Because right now, you, I mean, what, I'm right now, but before, when you landed in there, it was like nothing. It's very curious about that. Zachary Williams, hello my friend, good to see you, welcome to the stream, hola, welcome, bienvenido. I bet you the Chinese people are so jealous that Japan got a world update and China didn't. <laughs> Christo, Christo RP, welcome to the stream, good to see you, hello, welcome, welcome, welcome. We're checking out the new update, um, so a quick recap while we're waiting for Microsoft to load up again. Uh, we took off out in Nagas something. What's it called? Naga City? Naga Nocha? Naga No? I can't remember the name of it. Nava, Nava something? <laughs> and uh, it looked really nice out there. Had a pretty good flight. Got about halfway. We were about, what, 30, 40 minutes out from uh, landing in Tokyo. And uh, Sim crashed. Why? I don't know. I don't know what caused the crash. We were just kind of cruising. We are not really doing much. So something caused the crash and that uh, happened. So we loaded back up, landed in Tokyo. And uh, now we're gonna do some VFR flying around Tokyo. Moose and Knuckle Life, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the Blue Arrow family. Nagasaki, thank you. Thank you for correcting me. I always forget the name of these places. All right, cool guys. So we're in the Cessna 172. If you guys would like to join us, we're on the All Player server, USA East, here at RJTT. You can do some VFR flying around the city. Let's see what it looks like. I'm looking forward to this. I've been wanting to see what they what they talking about, man. This whole time. Let me uh, actually switch my controls. I'm still set to airliner mode. Uh, also, guys, they brought back the sensitivities, being able to change sensitivity, which is extremely important, I feel like. Uh, somebody actually messaged me a week ago or so uh, who had just got Microsoft Flight Simulator like a week ago, and um, they were trying to set, set up their controls, and the sensitivity button was not working. Here it is, proof that it actually works. Um, which sucks, as somebody who just got into Microsoft Flight Simulator and for it to not work, like you can't, you cannot set up your controls. So I feel bad for them. They almost want to get a refund. It's like you know what? Just wait, wait until next Tuesday uh, when the update comes out and see if uh, if you have any the same issue. And if not, you know, go ahead and ask for a refund. Kristoff, thank you, my friend. Appreciate you, bro. Appreciate you, bro. I see you. I see you. All right, let's see. Uh, Kabaya says ocean rendering has been improved. Waves, scale, foam, and reflections. Water mask has been edited to display actual aerial imagery near the shore in some areas. Yeah, I saw that and I was wondering where is some areas. 
Uh, where did I get the livery for the for the Dreamliner? I got it from the Liveries Mega Pack. You can check it out in the description. All right, battery on. I have the honeycomb yolks. I have all these things mapped to my buttons, and we'll go ahead and go with the mixture full rich. Right, here we go. Throttle's working. And crank it. Why don't I hear the game? Hold on, let me turn music off. Did, did this die? It did. I think I've done this before. <laughs> what did I do wrong? Is it the fuel pump? All right, we're uh, we're on both tanks. And batteries on. Where's the where's the where's the pump? Ty, you couldn't see any traffic. The flying cars. Where's the flying cars at? Oh my god, a flying car! I told you Japan had flying cars. I freaking knew it. I freaking knew. It. We're so behind out here in America. Oh my god, I knew I need to go to Japan. All right, let's try it again. Uh, where's the, the the pump thingy? The, where's the? Isn't this supposed to be like a little pump thingy? Do I have gas? Is there? Is there? Are we filled up? Yes, we have a half tank on both tanks. Fuel pump. Where the heck is the fuel pump? I forgot. Oh, it's right here. Try it again. That doesn't always have to be on, though, right? Wait, hold on. Throttle full four and then fuel pump on. Yeah, it's showing we have fuel flow. Come on, crank! I guess I need to leave it on, Donna. Try it again. Fuel pump. No. Still not working. With the fuel pump even on, I'm not getting turn off. I'm still not cranking. What the heck? All right, you guys got to teach me how to start a Cessna, apparently, because apparently I don't know what the heck I'm doing. I've done it, done it so many times, it ain't even working. There's no sound? You guys can't hear? Yeah, there's a little bit of sound. It's really low. I'll turn it up. Uh, let's turn the checklist on. Let's try the checklist. I feel like I shouldn't have to do this, but we'll have to do it. Let's see, before starting engine. Here we go. Pre-flight inspection. All right, seatbelt sign. I work electrical equipment. Off. Uh, avionics are off. Fuel selector is on both. Fuel shutoff valve. Oh, that's probably what I'm missing. That is probably what I'm missing. Fuel shutoff valve. Open. Uh-huh. That's what it was. Freaking fuel. Wait, who turns that on? <laughs> Come on, man. What are you doing with your life? All right, here we go. Crank it. Ah! Yeah! Sorry for the, for the, for the screen. All right, brakes, brakes, brakes. <laughs> I was like, I know I'm doing it right. Okay, cool. All right, everything's coming on. Batteries on, the alternator's on, bus is on, avionics are on, and uh, tax lights are on. We're basically ready to go. Uh, this is our tran what, what is this? Transponder? Yeah, transponder. Turn it on. Squawk 1200 for VFR. Alright, that's on. And Squawk and Charlie. Alright, let's get that guy out of here. Both red switches are on. Correct. Do I close the fuel shutoff valve now? What's that sound? Oh, that killed it! Alright, I'm not touching that. <laughs> I'm not touching that. <laughs> All right, can we go? Can we go now? Let's go. All right, looks like our live weather has failed us again. Yes, it has. We'll do fuel. 
Can I see traffic? That is a great question. I don't see anybody at the moment. I re I'm really I'm I refuse to reload this sim again for the third time today. So I better start seeing people. So I don't see nobody right now, and I know it's busy out here because we in freaking Tokyo. But at the moment, I don't look like I see no traffic. Again, I'm on the USA East server. Uh, live working for live weather for me is not working again, which could be the reason why I don't see traffic either. I'm just not like I'm not. It could be like a server overload of some type. Wait, what is that? Is that a plane? I thought I saw a wing. No, I didn't. Only only planes I see are the cars. There's that bridge over there. That's pretty cool. There's there's so much to see in Tokyo. Uh, Moose Knuckle says he's seeing traffic on USA. Let's see. Will it actually change for me if I do this right here? I'm gonna check. I'm switching to USA West just to see if it fixes anything. What up, RM one nine nine nine? I don't have name tags on either. Let me turn those on to see if, if I am for sure not seeing anybody. Oh, update day problems. You guys know I hate going into the menus and stuff when I'm streaming. Let's see, traffic. Uh, vehicle density, work. Where's the thingy? Is it under graphics? I've had it off since day one, so I don't even know how to turn on the, the name tags. Uh, Moose Knuckle says he sees me. Okay, cool. Well, come over to where I'm, where I'm at so I can see you too. Data, traffic. Oh, nameplate. There it is. It says I'm offline. Uh, I see a bunch of people online. Yeah, uh, my status is also online. West USA server now. And name tags are now on. Okay, cool. I see I see tags of people. Which I hate. I really hate seeing those tags. <laughs> I really personally hate seeing those tags. Alright, so there's people here. Yeah, I see people. Hijacker, oh boy. Yeah, there's people. Cool. All right, I'm turning it off. I hate it. I hate it so much. I hate it. You have no idea how much I hate looking at those. I am turning them off now. I think that's the first time I've ever had them turned on in my whole Microsoft Flight Simulator life so far. All right, apply and save. And no, 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 not main menu. Cancel. Resume. Thank you. All right. All right, so people are here somewhere. Hopefully you guys can find me. Uh, back in the plane. All right, let's go. Keith, same problem? Gotcha. Yeah, I don't know, man. These servers are always weird, man. I think what we need to do is just connect to Vatsim, and, and then we know we're straight. All right, this is a runway here. I'm just going to take off here. I don't want to keep you guys waiting any longer. I'm sorry for all the technical difficulties. But you guys know what it is on uh, update days. Sam Keeley, hello. Good to see you. My day's going pretty good. I cannot complain. I really can't. Alright. All lights are coming on. I'll take off no flaps. Uh, did I reload the game or, the com or my computer when? Uh, I had to reload the game, yes. But that was it. I did not reload my computer. If I reload the computer, the stream would end. Alright guys, I'm rolling. I don't know. I think they're going to implement our co-pilot. Airspeed's alive. I'm trying to hold the line. I see somebody right there. Yeah, there we go. There's people. I see people. We're not alone. And we're up. 
positive rate. Let's check out uh, Tokyo real quick. Or not Tokyo, the airport. I know we've been here before, but I want to check out the airport real quick. See how it looks. Much better music. <laughs> I agree. I agree. We'll stick with the sounds of uh, a Cessna. Look at that. I wonder if they updated the airport at all. This looks really nice. Pull the power back a little bit. Handcrafted Tokyo International. What is that out there? Maybe we should start there. See that thing in the in the water? Yeah, it starts there. That was in the trailer. Look at that tunnel, that's so cool. Yes, HD Beamer, the A320 NX is not working after the update. What is that weird line right there? Um, but it should be updated pretty pretty soon, the A320NX. That is cool. Look at that bridge as a taxiway. That is sick. I have not really seen that very often in any sceneries before. Very cool. That's a cool airport. This is a really freaking cool airport. sand wind thing yeah whatever that is i do feel like the water looks a little bit different maybe the the winds are just calm which they are because i'm, I'm running a preset instead of real world weather sadly but the wind's really calm so i don't know i feel like the, 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 the world can't freaking talk i feel like the water actually looks a little bit different are the ships ai or real traffic i'm pretty sure they're ai I mean that would be that would be one pretty darn cool plugin. So like, all right, guys, this is the uh, real boat traffic plugin. So if you see a boat in the sim, it's there in real life. That'd be that'd be pretty crazy. Like a freaking ship aware. You know what I mean? That'd be pretty cool. Nagasaki, thank you, John Doe. VJ, hello, welcome to the stream. Good to see you. Hola. Second nuclear bomb blew what here? At the wind thingy? All aboard. I honestly never knew where they, where they blew it. Thank you for the follow, VJ. Thank you very much for that. Welcome to the Blue Arrow family. Good to see. You. What's that over there? Alright, guys, here we are. There's a helipad on there. That's cool. One thing I noticed was with the uh, Japan update, there's a lot of helipads. I'm like, how soon are we going to get these helicopters? I'm doing pretty good. I can't complain, man. I really can't complain. Too blessed to be stressed, guys. Too blessed to be stressed. That is good looking, guys. That is good looking. Hey, look at that helipad right there. All right, we're not gonna go any farther that way. Let's check out the city. There's a lot of things to see in the city, so I wanna check out the city first. I'm gonna head back towards downtown. Good evening from South Africa. What up, Rory? Rory Song, good to see you. Welcome to the stream. All aboard! And who is that? Uh, Keith B, thank you for the subscription. Welcome to Blue Royal Family. Thank you very, very much for that. Hopefully you're getting through your issues with the sim as well. I see there's some tall buildings off to our left. Uh, we're going to check out these over here ahead of us on the other side of the airport first. As we go full steam ahead. Full throttle. Turning off the taxi lights now. I've just been in a mood lately to fly the Cessna 172. 
I know it's not all that fast, but I really like it. Uh, Sean, again, I don't, I don't really know, honestly, man. I don't know what's blocking the live weather from getting to me. Um, it worked when we when we did our landing just now earlier in the into Tokyo. It worked. When we loaded back in, it stopped working. Uh, before the stream today. I loaded in and I had live weather. It was working perfectly fine. And then I reloaded, like I restarted the, the flight in order to start fresh for the live stream and it was not working again. So I don't know, it's kind of been hit and miss for me uh, as well as I do have the Rex weather engine as well. And right now that is not compatible with the current update. Uh, somebody already mentioned in the chat that uh, they put a Facebook post out there earlier saying that they have a update coming out soon to fix those compatibility issues. So. You know, we'll, we'll have that up pretty soon, hopefully, in the next couple of days. Do a quick touch and go here just because we have uh, a bit of uh, distance to put between us before we get to that uh, city. Got to throttle all the way back to idle. Dope 360, I know you're working hard, man. Came pretty fast, we'll let it float for a while. There's a 787 about to take the runway. We're also landing with no flaps, so keep that in mind too. It's true. They fix bugs and they create others. Not sure what, it, what uh, livery that was. HK, something like that. Uh, there's no check checklist for which plane. The 172 does have a checklist. All the default aircraft have checklists, even if they're short. Yeah, I love looking at the city from a distance. One of my favorite things about flying in or out of cities, like big cities like these, is being able to see them from far away. If you have your graphics turned down, you won't be able to see them though, sadly. Alright, I don't know much about Japan, so we're just going to kind of sightsee aimlessly. <laughs> uh, I'm like, ooh, what is that? We're going to fly there. That's, what, that's basically what's going to happen today. There is that cone looking thing over there. That big orange and white stripe thing, or maybe red. And I saw there's a bridge over here. Matter of fact, let's go check that out first. I want to do our first flight under the bridge test. If you guys have been flying Microsoft since the first release, you know that some of the bridges are bugged out, and when you try flying underneath them, they kill you. So I want to see if they uh, if they thought about that when making this scenery out here in Japan. The Verino, what up, man? Yeah, man, looking forward to you better flying too, man. It's always better. The more, the, the better, man. No, still no liver, no official liveries available for the planes yet. Still kind of wondering what's taking so long with that. There's a little uh, shipyard, a bunch of cranes. Yeah, no official liveries. All liveries that are currently available uh, have been, you know, basically modded and created. Uh, by the community, so they haven't released an official livery pack. Well, I'm hoping they do pretty soon. Garfield, I'm flaring too high. I, I believe that. I'll take that. I'll take that uh, constructive criticism. Thank you very much, man. Alright, we're going to fly under the bridge. We also landed with no flaps or anything that last time, so wasn't really planning on landing. I was like, eh, let's see if we can touch the wheels down real quick. This is a nice bridge, though. I want to see if we can fly, like, inside of it, too. And... You heard that? You guys heard that? Like, it kind of shook a little bit when we went underneath. I'm not sure what was up with that. I'm not sure what was up with that, but it, it kind of shook. It's like, I don't know. It was, 
It can't be that windy underneath there. It could be, but it, I, don't, I don't believe it. All right, we're gonna try going right down the road. I wanna see. Doing some maneuvers today, guys. Doing some maneuver in the day. Here we go. All right, see if we can fit. Oh boy, this is gonna be tight. This is gonna be tight. Watch out for the street lights too. This reminds me of GTA. Oh boy. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're alive. All right, just ignore the street lights. Let's pretend like they're not there. Well, we're definitely taking our wings off with them. That was dope. <laughs> All right, on to the next thing. You see out here, we have, uh, looks like Autogen type buildings. That's an Autogen building right there, pre-made Autogen building. So I'm wondering like, what, like, how much of the city is Autogen and how much is it Geo Bing imagery, whatever they call that. M Money, I am in the Cessna 172 six pack edition. No G1000. Something's going on there. I think there's something supposed to be there, but it's not. See, it's like a boat, like a ghost boat right there. Oh, here we go. All right. This looks nice, man. So that's that's a custom 3D model right there. At least it looks like it. I can't tell. It's kind of hard to tell. Another helipad. There's a ferris wheel. It's like a train track maybe. Is this a good plane for beginners? Yes, it is. Look at that piece of architecture right there. Yeah, now we're talking. Sassy, what up? Welcome back. Good to see you. Welcome to the stream. Another helipad, 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 helipad. All these buildings have helipads on them. Apparently helicopters are a very common way of travel for Japanese people. Look at it. This is a, probably like a museum or something. An old uh, Japanese boat. Turned into a museum most likely. We have one of those in Texas. Alright. Let's see about this bridge. I'm, I'm bridge testing because I've had a lot of issues. I flew under a bridge under Vancouver and it killed me. So I want to see if these bridges work. I don't think this one's going to work. It might. It might. It's a nice bridge though. We got this. Come on. Don't die. Well, um, there you go. Myth busted. Bridges still kill you. Holy crap, that scared the heck out of me. I was not expecting to die. At all. At all. Okay. But we have... <laughs> this, is, this is what we have uh, this mode for. Here we go. Jesus. Oh my god. I almost jumped out of my seat just now. What up, Rick? Good to see you, man. Yeah, I think you're right. I think you're like basic Bing map, but with a little bit of handcrafted uh, corrections in there. That scared the heck out of me, guys. Like, I really, I thought we were gonna make it. Like, it looked really good for a second, and then, and then it, it, it all went wrong. <laughs> bridge test failed. That wasn't a bridge. <laughs> that was the water. Oh my god. It scared you too, right? Freaking happy Halloween. Oh my god. Which uh, side of the road do they drive on in Japan? Is it the usual? I 
Alright, we're gonna head towards the, uh, what do they call the sky tree? Actually, before we do that, there's that little cone thingy that I saw in the trailer. We're gonna hit that first, and then we'll head to the sky tree. Alright, as far as frames, uh, definitely not as good frames as I would have if I were, like, you know, not here. Um, but better than, uh, it would have been before the last, last update. You know what I'm saying? So it's not, like, unplayable. You definitely need to work with your graphics to see what works best for you. Because you can see me, I'm starting to get probably lower 30s, probably high 20s right now. Uh, out in this very, very populated area. Are there trains? Not really. Not really, no. Um, not unless somebody particularly puts a train in their scenery pack. You will not get a train, sadly. No. You'll see the train tracks. Like I think that's a train. It's a train track right there. But you won't see trains driving down. That was one of my requests back in uh, beta or alpha, actually. Here it is. I don't know. That's just like an Eiffel Tower looking thing. I don't know what it is, but if I was there, I would definitely be taking a picture. Not too bad. There is a bug in here. There's a savage below me. Another helipad, another helipad. There's a lot of helipads. One thing I like about Japanese helipads so far is look how easy they are to see. They're all green. Every single one of them are green with an H on it. Makes it really easy to see them. To find a helicopter looking for a helipad. It's not like that in the U.S. They're all all kind of colors. Man, there's so many helipads. Almost every building has a helipad on it. Tokyo Tower. Thank you. Thank you very much. You see some more VFR traffic down there. All right, we're gonna go to the Sky Tree. There's a Sky Tree. Flying over a big park now. I'm not sure the name. Again, I don't. I'm not from here. I don't know much about the names of these places, but this is a, it's like Central Park, in my opinion. It's like right in the middle of the city. Jaden, what's up, welcome to the stream. There's a, uh, it's like some kind of, uh, Stadium for sports right here. Yeah, all of this is being imagery. Just kind of like how like you know New York is. New York is all like being imagery. It's just like that out here. It's probably just been updated since uh, this last update. A couple of Ferris wheels, things like that. A little water park right there. It's kind of cool. Another helipad. Sorry, all I can think about right now is Tokyo Drift. <laughs> Look at the highway. It's like, huh, I wonder how fast you can go on that highway. Usually the, the bridges that are made by the Bing map, by Bing maps, cannot be flown under. Uh, but usually you also can't see under them either. Uh, but that bridge we flew under and got killed by, it looked, it looked like a 3D modeled bridge. Um, I just think maybe there's some kind of boundary or something like that happening underneath it. Kind of like back when we flew in Egypt around the pyramids. In the pyramid, even though the pyramid's a triangle, there's a square sphere. Is it a sphere? Right? Sphere? No, a cube. There's a cube. Like a cube, uh, like boundary around it. So if you fly within that cube, then you die. So kind of like that, I think. This is tall. Look how much higher this is than the rest of the city. All right, right now we're at, let me synchronize this. We're at two, we're at 1,700 right now. 1,700 feet above the water. That is high. That 
that is beautiful, man. And I'm not just talking about Microsoft Flight I'm talking about just in general. That is a beautiful piece of architecture right there, man. Like, I've never been to Japan before in my life, but this is just one of those things that you're just amazed that it actually exists. Matter of fact, I want to see what it looks like at night. There's not really any lighting on it, but around it there is. I'm pretty sure in real life there has to be some lights on there. Alright, stutter. Oh! Thank you, Norris Hansen, for the subscription. Welcome to Blu-ray family, my friend. Good to see you. Thank you, man, for joining us today. Alright, we're going to change it back to daytime. I will say, even in the last version, I had some problems whenever changing... I'm going to do it right. Oh, that looks good. Uh, whenever changing the weather and time of day often, uh, I've seen lots of problems doing that on the fly. I've had a lot of stutters and freezes and crashes like that, so that could be something that could cause us to crash. Is uh, the sun rising right now in live time in Japan? Let's see. Uh, live. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I would, but it's just... I want to see all this right now. <laughs> like, it looks good. It'd be really nice for the end of a long haul flight. But right now, we're kind of like sightseeing. But thank you for calling that out. The sun's sun rising in Japan right now. It'll be a great time to fly in. All right, let's continue uh, back towards that way. I don't know what's, what's over there. So we're going to keep going this way. I'm going to go over, I think... Yeah, over there. You can kind of see the line where the um, the Bing imagery stops and where Autogen starts, which actually they blended pretty nicely. Looks a little bit greener. All right, Jaden, I'll see you later, man. Thanks for stopping by. Appreciate you, man. All right, these rivers look really nice. I wonder if it's legal in real life to fly out here. Yeah, we're in an airspace. Let's see, are we in an airspace? Doesn't look like it. We should be in a inside a class Bravo for uh, Tokyo International. Huh, it doesn't show. I don't know. Oh well. Freddie Laker, you downloaded about a one hour ago, and it looks so good. It does, man. It does. The thing about Japan, and I'm, I'm really glad that this is not a paid update, because the truth is, you would rarely really see this flying, like just on your usual day-to-day -day flying. But usually most people are going to fly IFR from point A to point B, uh, and you'll see the city a little bit on, on approach, you'll see it out in the distance from the airport, but you really won't see it close up, you know? And even if you do VFR, you kind of have their particular places to go into. The city, of course, you check that out. Um, but I don't know. I'm really glad it's free because I just I know that after today, <laughs> uh, I don't know when the next time we're going to come back and do this exact same thing again. Like, we're going to be doing VFR flying at, out in the mountains of, of Japan. Uh, there's some bush flying airports that they added uh, as handcraft that we'll be checking out. But as far as flying right in the city like this, I don't know how often I'm going to do this. Yeah, it's beautiful, but there's so many other cities to see still. I still haven't seen them all. What is that building right there? Looks important. The Godzilla always attacks this city in the movies. It's really massive. Yeah, there's a Godzilla mod. Yep, I've seen it. I don't have it, but I've seen it. Definitely gorgeous. Definitely gorgeous. I'm, I'm not getting 2 FPS, I'm definitely getting better than 2 FPS, thank god, that's one of my biggest issues, or sorry, worries that I had before this was getting 2 FPS. That's pretty cool, Sean. Yeah, I guess as, as being maps itself, as it gets better, look at that building. As it gets better, as it progresses, so will this. 
So see that right there? That's a train track. So there's trains. Uh, and you can't really see them. But there's some trains down there, but they're not moving. They're just like being placed trains. Right, I'm gonna hit pause because I want to be able to see. Look at that. Yeah, I wonder the same thing. Like, how many hands had to touch this scenery before we saw it? Look at that. Even like, I mean, look at the reflection off of that building right there. Wait, is that the building from the trailer? That is the building from the trailer. Hold on, <laughs> let me do the shot. <laughs> That's the building from the trailer. I was like, it came in from this angle right here. Um, but I was saying is, oh, my avionics went off. Oh, bug guys, bug, 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 bug. I saw it earlier. Um, from time to time, uh, the avionics would just shut off in the middle of flight. That's a known bug, by the way. All right, so here, I think it's over here somewhere, right? Yeah. Turn. Zoom out. It's over here somewhere. Oh no, it's over there. Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna do this. Sorry, I'm gonna I'm gonna use a drone camera and I'm gonna create recreate the the shot that they they did in the trailer from over there. There we go, now we're moving. But what I was saying was, uh, yeah, this is the shot right here. It was like, da, 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 da. <laughs> that's <messing> around. <laughs> oh my god, but no, this is the shot. But look at this building, I just wanna look at this building real quick. Look at the reflections off of the, the roof there, off the glass. The PBR on there, like how it changes, that's just, Good job. Good job. What was this building over here? A little bit of a spot here. I don't think it's supposed to be there, but you know, it's it's low poly. What is this building anyways? That looks legit. This is pretty cool. I can see a photographer like sitting right around here and taking a shot. Where my clouds go? Oh, <laughs> look at that, bro! I'm taking a screenshot. Somebody gonna think I was in Japan this week. Look at that! Oh my God! I'm taking that screenshot. Give me a second. Just give me a second to make some magic happen. I'm gonna change the time of day. Don't really doctor this one up. Oh, look at that. Oh my god. Alright, give me a second to do some artwork. Look at the car driving down the street. <laughs> Alright, three, two, one, screenshot. There it is. Oh, that is that is just that is just very satisfying for me right now. You have no idea how satisfying that shot is for me right now. That looks so freaking sick. Okay. Alright, what else? That's a good shot, man. That is a good shot. Alright, let's head back to the plane. Back to the plane. Thank you. Alright, let's continue. Thank you guys for your patience. <laughs> let's get down low and see the quality of the buildings. Like, look down here. You can see the billboards on the side of the buildings, the advertisements. You can see the little um, gardens and stuff on top of the, the apartment buildings. And 
stuff, which is pretty cool. Like it reminds me of uh, t the Tokyo Drift movie when they were playing golf on the uh, top of the hotel. It might have been that one right there. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. But yeah, look even the side, the detail of the side. Like it amazes me how a satellite can can like capture the side of a building like that, and they can recreate that and create this out of it. It's just it's it's just crazy, man. Yeah, there's a clock on the side of this building. And it's model. I don't think it works, but it's, it's there. But again, as I was saying earlier, man, like, this is the new base for Tokyo, right? Like, a lot of people would go out there and, and they make their livery packs. Sorry, not liveries. <laughs> their, uh, their city packs, right, where they go out there and kind of create this, correct the scenery. Um, and all that. Let me change my view. Hold on. There we go. What is that building? That looks cool. Look at this one. That is so Tokyo right there. That building is so freaking Tokyo. Alright, don't hit nothing. Good night, uh, Rory Sang. Thanks for stopping by, man. Appreciate you coming through from South Africa. Citibank! Look at that. That's crazy, the fact that I can read that. That's just crazy, man. I'm sorry I'm moving the camera around so much. I'm trying to control the plane <laughs> and sightsee at the same time. It's not that easy. It is not that easy. Alright, so we're back over here again. Let's go uh, a bit this way. I think that'll be uh, east. It's very cool. Like, this is something you would probably pay like $60 for as an add-on for X-Plane or P3D. They charge you some good money for something like this. As I'm getting over here, I'm noticing that some of the buildings are a little bit lower detail, a little bit lower poly. Yeah, I may it might just be my internet trying to keep up. Yeah, I'll get lost. I'm already lost. I'm gonna be honest, I'm, I'm lost. I don't know where the heck I am. <laughs> uh, does the avionics shut down mid-flight in the airliners? Uh, they said that they might. They haven't happened. It hasn't happened for me yet. There is some uh, known issue saying that the avionics may shut off in the mid-flight for some of the airliners, but it hasn't happened to me yet. Because if you notice that the air avionics actually can't open, oh, never mind. Now it's gone. It came back and now it's gone. Let's turn it off and back on. Like my transponder is completely off. And I don't know. How I, should, I don't know how to turn it on. Thankfully, I'm not actually using it, so. Not an issue for real today, but it would definitely be a problem if we were flying for real somewhere else. Doing a long haul Friday? Uh, yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if the same issue was happening with 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 air, airliners. All right, so I think this here is. It looks like yeah, this is definitely Autogen. All right, so you can see there's a shipyard again, and then there's the airport. Let's head towards this way. Um, see it out in the distance there's some more tall buildings. There's another section over there. I think we can see some nice sights And I think those might be autogen skyscrapers it Looks like it to me from here You think you just saw a samurai on a roof where <laughs> I Would not be surprised. I think that could really be a thing that could definitely be a thing. See, all this right here is, is autogen, so it's like, it's generated 3D models placed on what they think might look like what's there. So it's not like what we just saw earlier. And yeah, it's true, it could be uh, Easter egg, that samurai. That'd be pretty cool. I would not be surprised. What is that over there? Nothing? Nothing.
Are we going to Mount Fuji? Yes. Uh, where is Mount Fuji? Uh, it's not far from here, but I don't know where it is. Let me see if I can find it. Mount Fuji. Uh oh, what happened? What are you doing? Okay. My camera just freaked out. Oh, I think it's gonna crash again. Uh Yep, there it goes. <laughs> wow, okay, so I don't know what caused it. I don't know what caused it. No clue. Um, so that's our second crash today. See, how are we doing on time? I do need to go soon. Um, we'll hop back in. And basically, our mission is going to be just to find Mount Fuji, which was there already, honestly. <laughs> it's not really new. That was in here before the update. It just might look better now. Um, but we'll go check it out to see what the hype is about Mount Fuji. As I load back into the sim again. Thank you, Hunter. Yeah, man, I need a haircut bad. Finally got one over the weekend. So, super happy. Thanks for noticing. <laughs> you wish the next up world update would be Dubai? It might be. I wouldn't be surprised if the next world update was a place like the Middle East or uh, like the Indian Ocean or Persian Gulf or something like that. Like, I'd be, that sounds about right. Uh, I would love to hear your, your, uh, your predictions and what you guys' thoughts on what the next world updates may be or what you want them to be. They probably won't be what you want them to be, but they may be something that you could guess. I think Dubai has a strong chance of becoming a next world update. I think there is a lot of data out there they can pick up um, that they're not using uh, right currently in the sim. So I hope this is not going to be a normal thing. Um, because honestly, the last update we had, the 1.8 update, I I think the sim may have crashed on me one time that entire update cycle. Um, and, and today, we've gotten two in one stream. So that's not looking good for the 1.9 update. Uh, I'm a little worried about that because before 1.8, I got very frequent crashes uh, just randomly. And it's really annoying, especially when you're doing IFR flights that are like, you know, a couple hours long and it crashes on you on final, or if you're doing a long haul, something like that, you know what I mean? Peter Plains, welcome to stream, man. Good to see you. Can you guys see the sim? You can. Yeah, you can. Okay, cool. Uh, toured all over Japan many times for work, brings back memory. That's pretty cool, Arrow Ringo. That is really cool, man. I would love to go to Japan in real life. I would love to go out there. Definitely on my list of places to go for sure. <laughs> HTC, I might wait before I fly this update. <laughs> I mean, you can always try it out, try it out off stream, see how it treats you, because you never know. You may have a different experience than I do. All right, Keith, see you later, man. Thanks so much, man, for coming out. Yeah, next time we'll have like a more official group flight where we're all like actually together. It's kind of hard flying in a group when you're sightseeing, so I'm just kind of like, you know, going over there, you know, going over there. Uh, you know, it's possible, Rickon. It could be because I'm streaming. I don't know. Um, I think it has to do with scenery loading in the distance. Uh, that's what I have. That's what I assume it has to do with. But it might not. It'd be some something, something completely different. I agree. I agree, Chan Man Rings. I don't care what the next update is as long as it was properly tested before release. 100% agree with that. Uh, one thing I also wondered too, man, is like they mentioned like with like the beta testers, the alpha and beta testers, they told us that, uh, you know, next time um, they have something to, to test that they would use the same people. Uh, I'm like, all right, well, when is that going to be? You, you got all this new stuff coming out. We haven't gotten an email about anything. So uh, right, let's see. We were over here. Mount Fuji is over here somewhere, I believe. Yeah, I see. There's a bunch of planes at it. This has got to be Mount Fuji because a bunch of people over here. Uh, I don't know that I want to fly all the way from Tokyo if it's far. I wonder if my live weather's working now. What up, Hijacker? Thank you for the, uh, the ad. So let's start. What is this? Yokohama? 
Bay Bridge. As you can see, there's a lot of points of interest they added. We were like around here when we died last time. Platano Mike, what up, man? Good to see you. You just got Rex and the new update. Is there an, oh, is there a new Rex update or you just got the new Microsoft update? Which one are you talking about? You had yourself your some crashes already? Dang. Uh, I'm trying to figure out where airport to start at. Let's start on top of Jack Sorrows. That's what we're going to do. What is he flying? EA62 says departure. Yeah, we'll fly something a little bit faster, maybe. Or not. Maybe we'll stay on where we are. Let's just stick where we were in. Keep it simple. Alright, live. No. Ooh, we want a preset. And we want live weather. All players and AI turned off. Uh oh. There we go. Alright, that's what I want. Uh, fly. There we go. Yeah, I might tie it might not be it might be a good time now to do live weather. Or not live weather, live time. So we'll see what it looks like. Especially since we're reloading it anyways. Did they finally fix the A320's wiggle while cruising? I haven't tested the 320 yet. I'll probably do that next. Not after this, after we check out Fuji, we'll be done for today for our stream, but on my own time, I'll, I'll probably be checking out Fuji to fight that. Always feel free, guys, to come through Discord. If you want to stream uh, some of your flights on our Discord channel in the lounge, you can always do that. I do that pretty often. I'll go in there and do some of my own uh, personal flights. And we can chat. You guys can watch, whichever. Check your Windows error app logs for this error.esent event ID 642. Thank you, G Slayer. I always wonder how to find out what my crash logs were. Where do I find that file at? Uh, Mount Fuji is southwest is to Tokyo. Thank you. I'll, I'll check. We'll, we'll go in that direction now. What up, MD10? Good to see you, man. Welcome to the stream, bro. Good to see you, man. Honestly, like, despite the crashes we've had today, like, I've had a good time. Like, it's been good. Like, it's been pretty cool. Um, I mean, obviously, I would love to have been able to finish that complete first flight that we did from uh, Nagasita. <laughs> Navagasa? I, I keep forgetting the name, <laughs> the name of it. There's Fuji right there. Um, but anyways, I wish we could have finished that and not had the two crashes we had. But we'll see. Hopefully, we can make it to the end of this thing without crashing again. So, otra vez. Here we go. Flying to Fuji right off our nose which i think is the best way to experience mount fuji is starting from far away you see how tiny it is and when you get there you see how freaking massive it is so we're gonna go ahead and just set the trail for the right ahead we're gonna i'm gonna um full throttle ahead and we'll trim it out and we'll just go nose straight to mount fuji and i'll go ahead and change like you guys said to live time actually we're already on live time yeah it for some reason already automatically changes to live time and autopilot is already on okay i guess because we spawn on top of somebody i don't know yeah autopilot's on on roll so can i go heading mode is that possible let's go basically direct west all right heading mode please yeah, autopilot's on. And we're holding our altitude. Yeah, okay, now we're running live weather. So we're running live weather and live time. So that's nice, it fixed it. The crash fixed it, look at that sunrise behind us, oh yeah. So yeah, flying over Autogen buildings now. You can see Tokyo City in the background, or all of Tokyo City in the background. The bridge is in the background, the one that killed us right there. That's the bridge that killed us right freaking there. <laughs> oh, 
that's good. I love looking at like whenever the sun's rising, you see the reflection of the rooftops of the buildings. I always think that looks really good. Okay, I'm gonna turn the land lights off. And Fuji off our nose. Perfect visibility too, man. Oh my god, what the heck? Did the weather change? What the heck has happened? <laughs> That was a nasty wind shear. Right click on my PC, select manage, expand event viewer, expand window logs, double click application. All right, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to read that again. Mount Fuji. I love the way Mount Fuji just kind of peeks out. Like there's like a few smaller like hills and mountains leading up to it, and it's just out there with with the with the fog kind of rolling back, the morning fog rolling back behind it. It reminds me a little bit about like uh, the mountains out there in uh, in in Washington, Seattle, Washington, like outside of Seattle, Washington. Not as great, but it's still very good. Thank you so much. Uh, Akil Koha, thank you for the super chat donation, man. Thank you very much for that support. What did you say though? I didn't, I didn't hear it. it says, "Hey, what all the fixes have you found? Fixes. I found a lot of things broken. Um, fixes. What did they fix? <laughs> uh, they fixed the engine on the A320. It's supposed to work now. Another airport right there. They fixed the engine on the A320. What else did they fix? They fixed a lot of things. Matter of fact, while we're flying to Fuji." Let me finally, I, since the beginning of our stream today, I've been meaning to go through the change log and actually read it with you guys on the chat. And I keep getting distracted by other things going on. So let's go, let's go through it. Oh, we're flying. Would you guys rather us watch back the sunrise or would you rather watch Mount Fuji get bigger? Let me know what view you guys want to see. I could do either way, man. I think they both look great. So uh, they updated the sense, they fixed the sensitivity screen the sensitivity screen now works uh, in the um, like joystick uh, and keyboard mapping screen that was broken in the last uh, update uh, live weather is working now Sean or I should say my live weather is not working uh, it wasn't working in the last before the last crash so now we're using live weather and live time uh, it says ATC options should now correctly be saved which means like if you change your call sign in the ATC, ATC options menu, how before it would always reset, now it stays there um, basically forever until you change it. Uh, let me see what else. You can now deactivate the music before and after. Wait, let me see. You can now, the music can now be deactivated before or during the initial download startup. So for a lot of people who had a lot of issues with downloading the sim, uh, I know you guys are very familiar with the Microsoft Flight Simulator music and you're probably annoyed by it, so now you can actually turn it off. Uh, they made some changes to the aerodynamics. The collision problems at negative altitudes have been fixed. Uh, braking power on the ground has been tweaked to reflect more realistic braking distances. Uh, fuel consumption updating mass problem has fixed for some planes. A plane with no fuel leak system should no longer lead to a crash. Not sure what that means, but aircraft gyroscopic stability can now be set in our in the SDK toolset. So that's the SDK update. Uh, planes incorrect energy formulas resulting in inaccurate autopilot behavior have been fixed. Now that's something I really want to look. I've been really like paying attention to. So I'm like, well, a lot of the autopilot problems, like whether it not staying on the Magenta line, the crazy oscillations and up and down. I'm wondering if that has anything to do with any of that. So again, I'm gonna have to do a lot more flying to really learn to see if they actually fix the autopilot um, because I've had it, autopilot issues on pretty much every flight I've ever done. So yeah, uh, you guys want sunrise? I am down for that. Yeah, boy. I right. see visuals and animation. Boeing 787 Dreamliner, Dream, Dreamliner wing flex has been improved. We saw that in our flight. The wing flex looks pretty darn good. Uh, maybe even a little exaggerated. Maybe a little too good. Uh, King Air 350 rudder pedals animation is now corrected. I don't know if you guys noticed. If you flew the King Air 350, the rudder pedals were actually backwards. Um, but they fixed it. Um... 
says they fixed an issue with A320neo uh, to the co-pilot, autopilot button lights. I never actually noticed that, but apparently that was a problem. There's a lot of stuff I'm kind of skipping through because it's not all that important. Uh, they fixed a lot of the general aviation systems. Uh, Nothing like super big though. Uh, General Aviation Avionics, Garmin Avionics. Uh, they fixed issues with the auto switch from nav to localizer and on, on the approach. I actually did have problems with that personally. They also fixed the wrong country codes in the Garmin Avionics. Uh, they fixed on flight plan entering duplicate waypoint page. Uh, performance improvements when displaying, displaying nearest airport page. G3000 is now a, it is now possible to act to wait it is now possible to active approach legs I think you mean to say activate approach legs uh, fixed automatic change from GPS to VOR1 when not flight plan or approach is loaded let me check I want to make sure I don't crash into the mountain Nice. Can you imagine living over here right next to Mount Fuji? Like, that'd be crazy. Alright, airliner systems. This is what you all, you all have been waiting for right here. The Airbus A320neo fixed APU fuel flow shutting down left engine. That was the problem we were having before. So that was fixed. The Dreamliner and the A320... N3, ah, wow. The Dreamliner and the A320neo fixed lack of elevator authority with fly-by-wire at low speeds. Now that's something that I was complaining about, but I feel like it's not actually fixed, or I'm not doing it right. Uh, fixed APU fault light behavior on the 8787. Uh, A320neo fixed max thrust display. Dreamliner altitude target can now no longer, can no longer be set to negative values. Uh, 747 fixed wrong approach and VREF speeds. Uh, Pure B, does it fly like or better than X-Plane 11? Uh, I wouldn't say better. I mean, X-Plane has really worked hard on mastering their flight model. Um, even though they do it differently than how Microsoft is doing theirs, I think X I don't think Microsoft is, is terrible. Um, I just think it needs to be fine-tuned even more. But X-Plane just has more experience in the flight model department, in my opinion. So I feel like X-Plane is a little bit better. All right, Boeing 787 HUD colors, we saw that earlier to do, uh, are, um, and layout improvements. So they changed the HUD colors and they laid it out better. They fixed a missing runway in the MCDU perf page for the 320neo, as well as improved disappearance of legs too early. Then following the flight plan, uh, stars are filtered to display the ones connected to the selected runway in the MCDU. Uh, a320 invalid entry now says not allowed. Uh, the A320F now says full when you put the flaps completely deployed. Uh, weather, weather gradient when getting close to the ground on live weather has been fixed. So you know like whenever you're landing, mainly in the A320 you felt it, and you get that really bad wake turbulence right before you land it. I believe that is what they mean um, by weather gradient. Look at this. Just gorgeous, just gorgeous. Um, lightning have been added when applicable. That, that's just all it says. <laughs> uh, they did some marketplace stuff, did some content manager stuff, some installation manager stuff. Um, they fixed some camera glitches. Um, they changed some input stuff. They fixed the bush trip thingy. Um, the ocean rendering has been improved. Water mask has been improved in some areas. Luminance has been tweaked uh, for some photo photogrammetry cities like Napoli, Darwin, San Giorgio, and Las Vegas. 
fix terraforming issue, which was causing issues in Telluride Airport. Water elevation has been updated to improve rivers like Missouri River and Toronto. You know how like the other rivers were like freaking high? Yeah, they fixed some of those. I don't think they fixed them all. I know I saw a lot of rivers like that in Canada. Here's some bridges. Uh, what else did they fix? And they fixed detail map rendering around runway taxi borders. All right, cool. Uh, known issues. This is pretty important. Game may crash if the VFR map is not opened right after starting the flight. I don't really understand that. Game may crash if the VFR map is not opened right after you start the flight. So basically, if I load in and I don't start the the VFR map right away, it might crash on me at one point, which may be the reason why I've had two crashes in today in this stream. So I didn't open the VFR map. Very weird bug, right? Um, Cessna Citation has a regression autopilot flight change and vertical speed mode issue. Uh, longitude, does, it sounds like the longitude has some pretty game breaking issues with it. So I'm not gonna be flying that anytime soon. Uh, as well as the 747, has an auto it says the 747 autopilot switches to flight change mode instead of catching the glide slope that's pretty bad that's pretty bad in my opinion that means you can't do an ILS if you're trying to do an ILS on the glide slope instead of the autopilot switching to low and catching the glide slope on the G on the, on the uh, glide slope yeah like I said uh, it switches to flight change mode which doesn't help you in that situation what is that gonna do for you uh, as well as also on the 747 autopilot switches to VNAV mode on takeoff even if VNAV is not used by the pilot. So basically, 747 will force you in VNAV on takeoff. That sounds pretty annoying. I mean, we flew the 747 last week and I was extremely annoyed with it. I was like, I'm not flying this thing until they freaking fix it. Oh, Bat Pino, what's up, man? Welcome to the stream, bringing the wine and the cheese. Good to see you, man, as per usual, man. Good to see you, bro. Hope you're doing well out there. And France, bonjour, ça va, my friend. All right, let's make a right turn 10 degrees. We're almost there. All right, let's see. Uh, so yeah, 747 is pretty broken. Uh, Airbus A320 Neo PFD shuts down randomly. Will it come back? I don't know. It doesn't say anything about coming back. It just says on the A320 Neo, the PFD might shut down randomly. So beware of that. Uh, tour of the, the Tour of Japan Discovery Flight will be grayed out in the main menu if the Beechcraft King Air 350 is not installed. That's not a huge deal. You should have that installed. I'm not sure why you wouldn't have it installed. A new install on a different install folder will only download the mandatory content and will, and will require a reboot. Uh, Non-mandatory content can be downloaded from the content manager. So basically, make, if you don't have Microsoft Flight Simulator installed, Sorry, if you don't have all your content installed in the same folder as your Microsoft Flight Simulator, you might want to reboot your entire system uh, in order to download the rest of that stuff. So that's probably going to apply to a lot of you guys. So that's pretty much everything. Those are the known issues. Uh, Redcon says that Noah means it crashes possibly if you open the map sometime after starting sim. Okay, gotcha. Maybe, that, again, we did open the map a couple times. So that might have something to do with why we crashed. Uh, let's see if we can start gaining some altitude. I, I mean, I assume we want to get to the top of this thing, right? Right now we're at, what's that, 2,000? No, that's like 3,000. We're at 3,150, something like that. So if we just kind of go over VS mode and just climb pretty slowly, we might be able to get up there. I'm going to go to arm and then up, right? Up, up, up. That should work. It's not working. Oh, arm is in op? What? What kind of GPS is this? Arm is in op? What the heck? Decrease altitude, hold reference. No, I want to go up. Why do they both say decrease? Does this not work either? I've actually never tried doing this in this plane. We'll just, we'll just, yeah, we're not going to depend on our pilot. Wow, look at that, guys. 
Thank you, Patrick. No problem, man. Thank you for spending the few seconds of time to come by and say hi, man. I do appreciate it. You see the elevation is climbing as we get closer and closer to Mount Fuji. All right, I'm going to go off autopilot and out of the outside view and uh, just follow me as we try to climb the mountain. Just going to use a trim, kind of gain a little bit of altitude. I don't know if it gets to the top. Geo, what up, man? Good to see you. Welcome to the stream. Have you got your stuff downloaded yet, bro? I know you know what's going on. I know that you actually have to completely delete and re-download everything. I think you had to work today. But yeah, man, hopefully you got everything working. The mountain, honestly, looks in, it looks like so good a detail. Like, the actual imagery looks so good. Yeah, I don't know, man. We're already at 70, 70 knots. We probably waited too long to start trying to climb. Probably should have did it earlier. Oh, wait. There we go. Lean it. We could do slow mode, yeah. Uh, Gabriel, did you miss anything? Uh, yeah, kind of. <laughs> Uh, we took off out of Nag Nagasita. Na <laughs> Every time I try to refer to that place, I'm going to say it wrong so I keep forgetting the name of it. Nagasota, Naga something. Um, very nice airport out there. And tried to do an IFR flight, 787, down Tokyo. Or I should say up to Tokyo. Very nice flight. Uh, it ended up crashing on us. And uh, we ended up landing in Tokyo. And then we did some VFR flying around the city of Tokyo. It looked really freaking good, man really good very very happy and impressed with what they've done with the city um but the thing is like we looked at tokyo but there's so much more there is so much freaking more um to see to find to look at out here in the entire island of japan uh we just looked at a very small part of it so again if i have time tomorrow i'm gonna have some things i gotta do tomorrow but if i have time i'm gonna try to get a short stream in tomorrow uh, so that we can continue our adventures and uh get another flight in if possible, Nagasaki. Thank you very much. Nagasaki is what it's called. Oh, look at that lightning strike. Oh, that, that looks dangerous. That's one of the updates. They added more lightning strikes. I don't know if they're legit because it's not. It doesn't look very stormy out here, but there was just, you know. <laughs> Do they ski down this mountain? This looks like a skiing type of mountain. But yeah, been a pretty good flight. Um... Definitely looking forward to you guys getting y'all's updated and checking out yourselves. Definitely pretty darn cool. Uh, makes me really excited for more world updates to come in the future. You know, maybe Dubai will get a world update. Maybe like South America will get one, you know. Maybe not the whole continent, but you know, maybe a country in South America will get one. China, hopefully will get one. Australia, you know, a lot of these places. Um, I mean, we're already seeing beautiful scenery out in uh in the microsoft light submitter world but you can kind of see how they've upgraded it's pretty cool captain cali mr dual barrel roll <laughs> i don't know i'm not i'm not convinced my friend to do a barrel roll right now i'm not i'm not inspired sounds good 360 so we're kind of circling Mount Fuji right now, trying to get to the top. We kind of probably started, we should have started climbing earlier, but we didn't. So now we're paying for it. What is that building on the side of it? You see that building? Is that supposed to be there? Hopefully we don't stall. Why is my view like over there? And yeah, we're at 70 knots. We're at 6 out. Look at that lightning strike. <laughs> Holy crap. Would I say that Microsoft Flight Simulator is one of the best simulators I've ever played? One of them, yes, I would say that, yes. The best simulator I've ever played? I don't know. There's a lot of factors that goes into that, man. The best looking? Yes, absolutely. It's the most beautiful flight simulator I've ever played in my life. Maybe 
give you that. There's somebody already up the top. You see some, uh, I see a bunch. It's like three or four planes circling the top of Mount Fuji. We're still trying to get up there. If I turn the music off, you actually hear, I guess it's a storm out there too. I assume that's the south of us. Um, you actually hear the thunder. Let me turn it up. Turn the music off. Alright, you should hear it here in a little bit next time we get lightning struck. Haha, <laughs> Ty, you got distracted and crashed. I'm gonna fly into a lightning storm but not do a barrel roll. I didn't purposely fly into a lightning storm. <laughs> let's get that let's get that right first. And we're not actually at it. It's it's kind of unrealistic how they're doing it. Lightning's over here, but the storm's over there. struggling to get to the top I don't know how high you might know how high Mount Fuji is because we're at 7,300 now and we're just barely scraping above these trees I'm pulling the thing back pulling the yoke back uh, I think I'm already leaned out yep that's as much as I can go <laughs> I am already leaned out King is in the Japan Alps, the north part of Japan. You don't believe they do skiing on Mount Fuji. Gotcha. But they gotta do something on Mount Fuji. Like, it's just this beautiful place. Like, something has to happen here. Um, do you camp on Mount Fuji? Do you, do you hunt on Mount Fuji? I mean, 12,000? Oh my god, I don't know if we can do that. That's like twice what we're at right now. We're 7,700. And trying to get higher, I don't think we're gonna be able to get there. We'd have to like it will take us a quite a long time to get up there. There's an airport nearby somewhere. I saw it on the uh, world map when we were loading in. I just don't know where it is exactly. We could land there. Twelve thousand three hundred and eighty eight, jeez. We've done like three fourths of a circle already around it. I mean, yeah, you could do a barrel roll in 172. I just don't want to do it. I did it for you before. Don't get greedy. <laughs> I remember. Very nice out here, though, man. I mean, how far are we? Like, it feels like we're not that far, but that's that's, that's another 4,000 feet we gotta go. Yeah, that's another 4,000 we need to climb. And we're struggling right now at, at 8,000. Service ceiling is 12,000. Yes, it does take a long time to get there. Yeah, it says 172. It can get to 12,000, but it will take you a while to get there. I might have to hike the rest of the way. Is that sun again. There's that thunder. I don't know if you guys heard it. Look how close we are to the edge. I used to think, like, if you were above a mountain, for example, like helicopters, I used to think that if you're above, like, on a mountain, that you could fly higher because the ground is higher. So I used to think, but I learned later that there's a thing, such a thing as barometric pressure. It doesn't actually matter if it's ground there or not. <laughs> I 
The human, uh, yeah, you can go 14,000 feet. I've, I've skydived from 14,000 feet. This gotta be, look at that, that road right there goes back and forth. There's a road that goes to the top, I'm not sure what they do up here. Alright, we're gonna have to slew up there, I, I do, I'm sorry. There's, an, uh, there's, it's gonna take us just way too long. <laughs> oh, not inside. Thank you. It's gonna take us way too long. Oh, there's a little campsite up. Oh, is Mount Fuji a volcano? <laughs> Alright, we made it! Six hours later, we're here on top of Mount Fuji. At, uh, looks like we're at 15,000 feet now, actually. And, uh, I don't think Microsoft actually simulates, uh, hypoxia. But I'm gonna try landing on top of Mount Fuji. That is my new goal. Yes, I do know people are flying to the top of Mount Everest. That's cool, yeah, it's pretty cool. You don't hear much about volcanoes anymore. Like, actually erupting. It happens very, it seems to happen pretty rare, like, in, in places where there's people. I know there's underwater volcanoes all the time. Yeah, we're like 14,000 feet up right now. This one's still active? Wow. That's cool. Just gotta find somewhere to land now. Or somewhere on the top of the... the tip of the volcano to land. What up, Ghost Customs? Good to see you, man. Welcome to the stream. Thanks for stopping by, man. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, I see a building right there. Pretty cool they actually put the building there. In the sim. But right now, I'm, th I'm idle on the throttle. I wonder how, like, this ring here at the very top of the mountain, like, how wide? Is like, a mile wide, a couple miles wide? I don't really see a lot of area. It's a, you can kind of land right there. That could be a possible spot to land at right there. Or we can put it like right inside the mountain and see if we fall through it. Oh, look at that sun. Or the water over there reflecting. Very cool. They should do a volcano erupting update. <laughs> That sounds like a mod to me. That sounds like the, the, the person who made the Godzilla mod probably should make a volcano erupting update. I'm landing over there. That look, looks like the safest place for us to put it down. I could. I could. That's true. I could simulate hypoxia myself. <laughs> Come on, Stallhorn. I got places to be. I know, I know, I know. Alright, it's gonna be nasty. Hold on! Ugh. Oh my god, that was not pretty. That was not pretty. Okay, and we're floating it. Ooh. Okay, we definitely died. Definitely died on that landing. We made it! The flaps are down. I think. Yeah, they're down. Don't stop, stop, stop. Woo! Alright, well guys, thank you for coming with me on the journey. <laughs> Put the brakes on. Go ahead and kill the engine. <laughs> no, I do not want to go back to the main menu. I want to continue. We're on Mount Fuji. Let's go ahead and get out of the plane, and we'll, uh, we'll take a little bit of a hike here. Here are some other planes out here. Let's go ahead and clip that. What you need to clip is when we got we flew under that mountain. We started under that uh, bridge and died. That's what you need to clip. Hard to believe this is a volcano. But very nice. Let's go over here next to this. Uh, hear that thunder? Uh oh, here comes the DA. See what he got. Is he gonna try landing too? Or is he gonna do a flyby? 
going around. <laughs> Thank you, Grimlock. I appreciate it, guys. It's been fun. It's been cool. You know, update streams are always fun because, you know, everything is so new to all of us. You know what I mean? So we're all learning uh, about the new update, finding new bugs, all that kind of stuff. So, you know, now we know some of them. We kind of know what to do, what not to do. Only a little bit, though. There's still so much more to be discovered. Browning, thank you, man, so much for the cheers, bro. Thank you very much for that, man. Uh, been a long time since I've seen you, man. Hope to see you sometime soon, man. Need to do some more uh, flying or driving or shooting or whichever. <laughs> but uh, let's see, man. Well, if anybody else else is going to land up here, good luck. Uh, I may stick to stick up here for a little bit um, after the stream is over. But um, thank you guys so much for coming through and hanging out. Well, let's get some shout-outs in before we leave. I want to see if he actually makes it. Oh, look at that lightning strike. So if you're watching, leave me, a, leave me an emoji. And uh, say what's up in chat. So I can say, say uh, hey. That's going to be tough to do in that DA. That's going to be tough. Landing. Uh, <laughs> Mount Fuji landing challenge. That's what this is. There was actually more people here when we got here. They're gone now. Look at that. Off in the distance, the view from Mount Fuji. Can you imagine being up here? We should be hearing more wind when you're like at the top of a mountain like this. You should be like ocean. But it's, it's super quiet. Just listen. Listen to nature. That's nature right there. And then some planes flying over. Thank you, 360, man, for joining us today, man. Captain Reynolds, thank you very much, my friend. Browning, thanks for stopping by, man. I know you're busy. Captain, uh, say, who was that other one? Um, Bomb Post, thank you, man, so much. Gabriel Johnson, thank you, my friend. Uh, Koya, thank you very much for coming through and hanging out with me. Raccoon, thank you, man. Good to see you. Kibbs, 2005, is always good to see you as well. Ghost Customs, good to see you, man. Thanks for coming through. Captain Cali, thanks for coming through. I do appreciate that. I do, I do. Everybody supporting on Twitch, Facebook, YouTube. Thank you so much for supporting the streams. It's always good to see you guys. Hopefully you guys will also enjoy the uh, the update. Look at that little dish right there. I guess they got internet up here. <laughs> Moose Knuckle. Thank you, man, very much as well. That'll be it for today, guys. Thank you so much for joining us today, man. It's been fun. It's been good. I'll be back hopefully tomorrow. And if not, tomorrow will be the next day. Until next time, remember you have three choices. Give up, give in. Or give it all. You got peace, love, and God bless you. I will see you guys next time, next video. I'm out. See the sun Don't you like it better When the sky is